Welcome back to D20 Theater. We apologize for missing last week. Unfortunately, we had some inclement weather that made it difficult for some of our uh, cast members here to get here. So, we're back now. We're continuing on the uh, the quest towards the Crow's Gate. Mm -hmm. And we'll get right to it. Greg. Um, well, when, when last we left our heroes, then uh, they were regrouping after the uh, successful but costly uh, defense of the Yarbeer uh, temporary settlement. Uh, they had only, is it Arden's men to, to help defend yes. the place? Because yep. Eomer had taken off in pursuit mm -hmm. of Theoker. Uh, and so, as a result, uh, two party members uh, lost their lives. It was, it was very unfortunate. Um, but the, the defense was successful. And so in the aftermath, then um, the other Yarvir, uh, in fact, returned. Eomer was, was dragged back to camp uh, by uh, a Narwinian. Uh, a Norwegian elf who introduced himself as Cyril Madit uh, and then pledged himself uh, to the service of the three remaining members of the company. Uh, the princess, and I'm going to lose her name, the daughter of the king of the Hayfer, Anril, Anril uh, showed back up uh, along with her, her mighty pigeon master uh, <laughs> to... Uh, <laughs> So, to, to basically demand that she was coming with us uh, in our pursuit of, uh, uh, of, of justice, essentially, as we're going up against the orcs, uh, and by extension also the, uh, the fiends who may or may not uh, be behind the orcish threat. Eomer also decided to come with us. We, we fought some boars. Um, I, a lot of what we did was basically discuss our, stratagem, our strategies and then head off and, and fight some boars. And then the Pigeon Master tried to wake up Esteem, and Esteem was right grumpy about it. <laughs> so he, won't, he, won't, he won't do that anymore. Yeah. And I, I, well, you don't know. Right. Uh, legitimately, I don't know, my perception is pretty good. Uh, legitimately, I, I don't know if there's actually more that I can say about that. Colby, did I miss anything? No, I think you're, uh, you're pretty much good. So I'm plugging in over here just because uh, I haven't done it yet, so everybody can see all of the major points um, of interest. Here is that smashed keep. I don't know, is this visible at all? Yeah. Here is the smashed keep on the uh, that y'all are headed to, so you're not far from it. Um, that's the one that you were asked to go check out about if it could um, be reintegrated as a, as a more modern fortress for the, um, for the crusade. And this keep has, it fell during the uh, war with the warlock kings uh, long time ago, in the founding of Thermacap. That's what I was missing, where our this, little side quests that we've been Yeah. Doing. This is Lythreek, uh, where you met the Yarbeer. This is the capital of the Hayfork. Um, and I'm going to paint each of these a different color eventually to make that, like, on just the tip here. Um, yeah, exactly. This is... <laughs> this is uh, a family show. <laughs> this here is uh, the Crow's Gate. Just. And so, yeah. I'll go ahead, and, I guess, and mark... Right over here, let's put uh, Kieran's block hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. A very sturdy boys we got here. Is it a wall? <laughs> walls are, board walls board are the among the sturdiest of boards. Yes. No, the wall is not the difficult part. It's getting into the board. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Clary's yeah, path the board there. is right up here. Come on, do it. There we go. Order one of these charts and use them to insulate your home or something. That's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. It'll keep you warm for the winter. We are not far off now. Make yourself and uh, <laughs> basically some of the some of the things that you had been asked to do. Which is a quick refresher. Was anyone absent last week? Same. We were all. We all were. Asking. Yeah, I believe okay. meant last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of pet so, so that's one of my uh, oh, my biggest the pet peeves. Student. Yeah, I, I get so mad at students, and it's unfair. Seven. But I get so mad at students Seven. when I'm like, all right, guys, so tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday, look, I will literally punch you. I don't care that I'll go to jail. I don't care. I will I'm not afraid to go back to prison. I will, I will set all of you on fire. I'm not afraid right to go now. Back to <laughs> uh, so, um. From the, uh, you've, you've, gotten several different, <laughs> you've gotten several different side quests from different groups. Um, uh, the Hayfork had asked you, um, let's see, here it is. 
the hate board can ask you to check out um, Lord Gislaine of Raloon. He called for aid in stopping these strange uh, attacks, and they believe that the uh, the fairy folk or the people of the forest, which of course are just a myth, uh, might be behind the attacks. Of course, of course. Um, just like fiends. Right, exactly. Uh, and or he's offered spears to the Council of Freeholding Lords and the Crusade if uh, if anyone were to, to help him out. Uh, and Lord Handon of Orinstead uh, had fallen and his village is under siege. I can put both of those on the map if you want. So they'd ask you to check out those two places because both of these places could be valuable assets that would have uh, have some soldiers and uh, and spears if you, uh, if you were able to liberate them. Uh, the Crusade had asked you to find and establish forward operating base, bases in basically each region of the Waste. And um, they think that that could increase the safety and security of, of any area. What are those cool diamond things you have there? These are my spell slots now. Oh, those are so cool. Dude, like those. what? Yeah. Those are nice. So I take one away, and then when I throw yeah. it, I put it back. That's cool. Um, That's genius! <laughs> I've seen a lot of people do that. Do you have more? A lot of people are geniuses. Yeah, they are. Um, that's really cool. Then uh, they suggested this one particular old smashed keep that's been around forever, but um, they don't know. You'll have to find others. That's just their first leap. And that was all smashed. Uh, they've asked you to treat with the leaders of the Crow's Gate, which is the place that you're heading to, a famously corrupt city once called Alatis that um, is the birthplace of a mare the Crow. One of the Knights 13. One of the Knights 13. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. They want you to find out what happened to the Hell Knights at uh, Fort Inevitable. Who were the who warriors were the, of America. Right, and they, the they the were the last team. line, of, or the first line of defense against the orcs, but apparently that didn't work. Um, then the Yarbeer asked you to track down Fiocker, who went northeast into the hills, and to discover the secret of the forest that has suddenly been growing darker in some sinister manner. It's because a druid died Maybe. Go there. That sounds fun. Um, Sam, I'll bring you some. So the forest I'll, is old. I'll Ooh. go ahead and mark Raloon and Orinstead. And you should have everything else. Oh, you better go. Right, all right, all right. The I found old. it in these old maps. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you have me one more Never thing. Have it ready for me. One more pokey. So Raloon is right. Where would you put? Raloon's right here. No, the forest is here. Oh, okay. Let's go over here. So Raloon's there, and Orinstead, I put Orinstead right here. It was all planned out in advance, all of this. The uh, Fort Inevitable, the last line of defense, or the first line of defense against the orcs, was supposed to be here. But that didn't work. Alright. So... Well, and of course, the party is the little blue sticky tap. Sticky bit. Oh, here, where, 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 That's where we're going. That's the keep you all headed to. Where's the Here's college the at? Oh, the college? I can work that. It's going to start this week. So, the week. academy, which is the like premier yeah, sure. like thing for wizardry, is right here. About a day's ride up the river uh, at a normal pace. And where's Crows again? From uh, the Crows, Crows Gate. Crows Gate is right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, Crows Gate's right next to the Academy. No, so this is uh, Orinstead. Oh, okay. And then that's Raloon. And I'll have all these painted, and you'll have a key eventually. But oh, I don't nice. have that ready for you yet. Much more better. It'll be a drawing of a key. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What do we do? Well, I, I think we ought to keep keep rolling on. We're going to keep now. rolling on. Keep what pace rolling. do we want to set? We were going pretty fast. We were going fast. Blue it, was, Chris it was mostly because Esteem didn't want the Pigeon Keeper to be able to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I forgot about that. So are we still going at fast pace? Uh, I'm into that. That's that's my vote. All right. Yeah, let's get it there. Oh, while we're traveling, check out. Um, this is Critical Shop's <laughs> new uh, design. Mega is doing an incredible job on her thread list. It says... Thrifty, shifty, and looking for loot. It's like a murder hobo uh, um, design that I really enjoy. Murder, and exciting. Murder hobo? Yeah, they don't have yeah, a house and they kill everything that moves. Yeah. So. It's, All right. It's a very, it's a famous D&D. <laughs> &D. It's like 
yeah. thing. It's derogatory. But she just added that on it's her nice. thread list. And if you want to go see her threadlist.com, it's on the link below in the description. You'll see an actual design I made for the link. Just click on it and it takes you there. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So if we're moving at a fast pace, that morning is as you awake, uh, Yamur is sort of sniffing. <coughs> and he says, I can smell in the air. The rains are coming. Not today. But soon. Mm -hmm. It won't be fun to travel in. That's we'll want to mean. find cover before that happens. And then we invest sorry to the keep. Aye, to the keep it is. Um, and at that, standing up from the uh, standing up from the fire, you hear Well I can make us if you if you like, I can make us a bit of sort of tops that we can carry over our heads. I think we will be right trying to create a scrubable cover against the weather. Yes, to the keep then. It'll be quite valuable to it us. Is your pigeon, so why am I translating? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if we're moving at a fast pace, go ahead and on the map, would you move us three hexes closer? Oh, where we want to be? We are like there on the hex guy. Right there. Oh, he's the hex guy. Oh gosh. And he's going to throw a rock and hit the keep. Don't well, do that though, it, it's crumbling. It would fall down. <laughs> it would down. We don't want to do that. Alright, let's roll it What do we get? Seven colossal dragons oh, sure. fly from the Don't be place. silly. Dragons are gargantuan. Be a big dragon. Ha ha! None of that was through fours. So. <laughs> You're actually good. Thank God, Thank God, God for so that. We made it all the way to the key. Oh, we got like forest. All right. Do you find anything cool? Very dark. Thank uh, let's you. find out. Um, Greg, roll me a d10. Okay. Ten. All right. You find nothing cool. Nothing so sorry. Cool. All right. Yeah, it was an, un an uneventful day. You make it all the way to the keep, and when you get there, um, the knight that's with you, um, Knight Cleric Corin. Oh, yeah. All right. He sees it and he says, <laughs> Yes, they weren't wrong. This place will do finally, finally for a crusade camp. I suppose we should head inside. See what it's about. As you say, do you lead on or are they one? He says, uh, I can if you like, though uh, my equipment is mostly for traveling here. I had thought to stay with him and defend the. Uh, right, when you do that, I will lead the way. <clears throat> Out of game, uh, these guys can yeah. come I, with you, but yeah, they're not. Yeah. I, I I figured. I just yeah. thought that Sarah will be uh, like sure. Yeah. Sure. This is actually a pleasant thing to do here. All right, and then I will lead the way. How do I know? What are those Yoshi eggs? They're Yoshi eggs. They're invisible. So, oh boy, that oh. this old stone keep stands out like a broken tooth. Dead trees surround it. And uh, you can see two or three abandoned, destroyed uh, cottages around the place. The whole area smells of an unpleasant mixture of bleach and decay, as if everything within a mile of the place was some horrible morgue out of hell. Even the grasses and shrubs are brittle and dry, with green patches only present here and there. You can see that this keep looks to be a, a shell-style castle with four walls around one large stone building in an open courtyard. The gates are smashed open, um, and the, the ruin is much more... Um, I guess it doesn't look as old as one might think. Contrary to the, uh, to the area around it, it is a bit less decayed. The stone of the keep is, seems to be less decayed than everything around it, mm -hmm. than the natural world you see. Uh, you can see that the walls themselves, as well as a large gate house and three round towers, all stand completely intact. Massive holes has been, have been torn away from the wood shingles of the roof of the Great Hall, leaving at least half the building open to the rain. On top of one tower from here, that one there, you can see a trebuchet. Oh no. Um, oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> And, oh, no. uh, we got a name for it. We do. And you can see, uh, you can see that this tower here 
is almost completely smashed. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. throw some trees around so you can see the photos. It isn't done. That's cool. That's cool. Can we move that? We got trees in the fort. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh, there are some in there. Oh, no. Hanging out. Hello, I'm a tree. That's the only side that has trees on. Right there, tree side. Oh, it's ah! going to black these trees. How is it possible that this table is too small? <laughs> well, part of it's this giant thing, and then Sam's giant yeah. thing, and then this giant thing. And then the giant? <laughs> so, that is pretty giant. You have pain. It's, it's only giant. giant. <laughs> it's not giant, giant. Giant, giant, giant. Hey, hey, these trees don't match those. I know trees. they don't. There's two different kinds of trees here. <gasps> yeah. They're only here. Osborne would know, but <laughs> he's dead. Oh, he's dead. So, I know. you're outside the tower, you can see the gate smashed open in front of you. What do you want to do? I, I rolled a 19 on my nature check. I, I, I know the right. Thing. I'm gonna see. <laughs> I have no fear. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna look around. Oh, no, I, 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 Can I look I'm around good. for like uh, signs of life. Sure. Roll me. Uh, are you listening? What are you doing? Are you looking? Are you looking? looking around. Are you looking around? Well, I mean, I assume I'm listening. Okay. Roll me a perception check. Nineteen. All right. You can smell. Uh, a, a heavy scent. Oh no. That, uh, it, it smells like dung. Bummer. Fairly recent. Oh. That's good. There's something alive. I relay that information to my friends. Uh, I've got a 21 on perception. Could I narrow it down any further just by the way it smells? Alright. Um, you know, I mean, you know it's, it's definitely waste. Mm. But you smell an odd smell that uh, that's definitely not familiar to where you're from. Mm. And I've, I've lived here for a little while. Yeah. In the wastes. Mm. I'm familiar with this. Tell you what, scent. since you've lived here for a while, it smells like uh, either sheep or goats. It smells like hell. Animals. I'm so excited. Uh, this place is abandoned, no? By people, it would seem. People, except those who might keep feral animals? We only do find wild sheep. Or those who might stop eat them. feral animals. Mm. Why would anyone eat a cute sheep? They're cute. Are you but sure that you're Probably. And they make clothes. So I'm just saying. Why Mountains are pretty something? common meal. Mm -hmm. Why would you kill something that provides clothes? Nourishment. Most Perhaps you do not need clothes for your large wings That's and your teeth. <laughs> we should keep our wits about us nice. and the eyes in the sky. Have you? We have, yes. Defeated a dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. No, you did. Pretty early on. Uh, yeah, there was one. That's where you got your party. Yeah, one member of the party made a pact with it. Oh yeah, that was a yeah. long time ago. It was a whole other one coming up. Yep. It's a while back. And now we know that another has been acting in this area. Yeah, you know that just to the north of you is where that black dragon was said to to mm -hmm. lurk up in the swamps there. Mm -hmm. But that is even at a fast pace about two days away. I mean, for a dragon, it would be less, but still, it's more strange that there would be enough of them to have made such a concentrated smell. I... Mm. It's simply speculation at this point. We should further investigate. As you say, uh, I'm going to leap forward with my weapons ready. Okay. I'll let you go first. Okay. I'm going to keep my eyes on the sky. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll attempt to go about it in a stealthy manner. Okay. It's like night by now, right? Yeah, because you're getting your yeah, travel yeah. from the full day. Yeah. yeah. You got a 19 on stealth. On stealth? Okay. So Pretty as stealth. you as you sort of peek around, I'm gonna say you're right here for now. As you sort of peek around the uh the wall, as you pass through the gate, you see right off to this side a half dozen um young sheep. Uh, Adorable. <laughs> And most of them seem to be sleeping. Oh my god. 
but there are a couple that there are two in particular that are still standing, like they're protecting their stuff. Okay. Do you want them to make a leopard noise and then I'll get to the last lady here? I will pet them on our way out. Okay. But I will pet them. Okay. Uh, it's important. I, I, I can see it. <laughs> Your people are reputedly fine hunters. Roll maybe, me an animal handling. You maybe I didn't long. live there. Maybe. Uh, I got a six. No, no, just a 13. Animal handling. 13? Okay. Does that I was, mean, just, I was I assuming it? proficiency. And I Have you know stalled forward? Did you stealth forward? Sure. Roll me a stealth check. Well, then do that, dude. <laughs> Same roll. 19. All right. Now roll me an animal handling. Oh. Wow. Those, both of us rolled two 11s in a row. Ah, 13. Elves. All right. What else? What else? <laughs> you can see that these sheep, uh, they're within a, a small pen. Here, I'll draw the pen because I didn't before. But they're within a small pen. Both of <laughs> you can see that they're within oh. a pen. And they are... Um, I have the other thing. Yeah. I put you there for a reason. Oh, okay. We're there for a reason. So you can see that <laughs> Go ahead. you can see that they're within a pen, and that uh, they're tied within the pen. Like they they seem to be. So we can catch them, and they can't run away from me. They can't run away. That's true. But they seem like they might. That was internal. That wasn't external. I guess. <laughs> it's just clear. I can see it on your face. You like you like looked at the pen, and then looked at them, and then looked at the the ropes, and then went. And he was like, no. <laughs> uh, stop. Please, calm yourself. I can't, okay? It has been a lifelong dream of mine in real life to pet a sheep. It's not, really, not, it's not really that exciting. I want to pet a sheep so bad. Okay. They're adorable creatures. The wool's more like hard packed than you think care. it would be. So just kind of I like. I want to feed them <laughs> and give them a hug. They smell really bad. They probably wouldn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> no. They don't. Because <laughs> the only people who normally touch them are the people who are going to castrate them. So. Oh, that's, huh? oh, that's, oh, that's, that's just a one-time thing, though. <laughs> it's a precedent. It's, it's, it's a, a fairly dreadful precedent. Yeah. Okay, so there's the pen. There's some sheepies in it. Um. And but that's have... all we can see at this point. Are you gonna send your little? I'm gonna send a little forward? crawly claw. Uh, towards the door here. Okay. So yeah, you, we, we've really seen you do the hand thing before. I, I Have I seen you do the hand thing? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, really uh, I'm going to see the hand and like point my sword at it. <laughs> can, I'm going to wave at message it. At me? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll have it point to you and say, stop, stop, stop. This is um, my familiar. I, oh, I so, so. turn to you there. and I <laughs> say... I'm more uh, familiar than most. Hey. <laughs> I turn to hey, you and I say, uh, which one's this? Because the last one died. I got uh, six, uh, 34. I, figured it out. I lost a few in the RV. Right, All right. <clears throat> so, uh, as it creeps forward, roll me a perception check. Okay. Got Is it its perception or mine? Yours. Too. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh, you're watching what's going on. A happen. beefy roll. Yeah. It's dark. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's a seven. I, mean, I don't think I've ever heard that. Cool. The, a the, uh, the, the hand seems to roll towards the door. Okay. And the door seems solidly yeah, set on the edges. All right, I'm going to set That's myself so up against the wall <laughs> here and uh, use my action to sense through it. Uh, and it has the blind sense. Okay. So does it detect anything moving around on the other side of the door here? Moving around here? No. Okay. Um, In fact, let's... Uh, Oh, that's a cool. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> right yeah. on. But it, it doesn't affect anything. Uh, I'll you have it find the thing. Uh, try the door handle. Okay. Just crawl up there and. Does it seem like it's this locked? This massive door. The, it, the, the door handle. It's it's like a push door. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it. it this massive door is too heavy for the absolutely. Too heavy about. Too heavy. Or I guess it's a pull door, but. It's not like a turn handle. Uh, it's like you can his hand up to move it around back there. Uh, I'm going to send it around then okay. and see if it's got anything on this end. Is it the same, st- same sort yeah, of thing? Same sort of thing. It's uh, it's it's a pull door. Uh, no handles are needed. Gotcha. Okay. And is there anything around the back here that's picking up? Uh, 
Not really. No? Okay. Yeah, move around the back. There's uh, there's not much. It does, though, as it skitters over this side, spilling out from that door there, just under the, the door, um, there are a couple uh, gold pieces. A couple gold pieces under the door here? Yep. Okay. I'm going to have it skid over and snap one of its little fingers. Okay. I'm going to do a little... Claw, crawl. <laughs> so it's holding, it's holding the gold it's piece of like these two way. figures. Yeah. And like do this thing and crawling on back to me. Alright. I mean, yeah, it could just be this. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, I'll look to uh, look to you, Barthin, since you're right there. I'll say, I'm finding my suspicions confirmed. What suspicions? Uh, I, I look back at you, at uh, Holding. Did Dragon? I hear you say that? Because mm -hmm. we're right there. I, I said, said your suspicion would go straight to Vargin and not. Bandit? It is the second confirmation I have. But you are correct. There is a thing here. Mm. Yes, it's, I suppose we can continue investigating before making conclusions. Maybe it's a really smart dragon. I have eight to ten. It's a smart dragon who can use a door, I suppose. Remember, the uh, top of the keep is also smashed in. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. Boom. I'm just enjoying the image of a dragon like delicately tying a rope. <laughs> That's what I was snack. thinking too. Yeah. There we go, little friend. <laughs> you stay right here. Yeah, they're not food. They're. I will eat you later. Yeah. Uh, Barthin, what's your suspicion? Yeah. Can we can we go now? Yeah. You can go. Sir Frederick, never you. I think I'm gonna try stealthing from this side. Okay. The main area. Let me sell check. Yeah, let's see that happen. Come on, big money. Hey, Papa needs it. Have you rolled your importance? Papa needs it. <laughs> A nat four. Yeah, that was important. <laughs> What'd you get? A uh, nat one, in fact. So that's going to be a six. All right. Super. So as you creep forward, <laughs> you, drop that uh, you see one of the sheep look up at you and it starts going, meh, meh. That is what we're hoping to meh. And the whole flock stands up <laughs> and starts bleeding. Uh-oh. I wave at them. Uh, I'm going to dart into, the, into the, the tree. Oh! Here. Okay. Uh, Everybody uh, has that. So that's what you're doing with your round. What are you doing my with your round? round? With my round, um, hmm. trying, trying hiding again. They want to blow up the sheep, right? Hmm. <laughs> the sheep oh, you're gonna do the. Uh, I think I'm going DCS to follow candle. him. And can I make a stealth check as well? Sure. You're in chainmail, right? <laughs> you are a disadvantage. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Was that a great deal? <laughs> sure was. So is that uh, a one? Yes. All right. Where do you want to end up? You think you're being stealthy? It's either a one or a zero. I'm not sure. I'm one. very not stealthy. It's probably just a one. Just a one? It's a flat one. I didn't know if chain mail gives me any negative. Just it just, but you can't roll uh, rollers. Well, then, Old roller. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just going to come and chill and behind you. my friend. All right. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm very stealthy. Uh, I'm going to just kind of go, and I'm going to move and uh, dart into the, uh, the sheep pen and just kind of get the, one of the, no one of the yeah, one of the ones who's like kind of big and dumb looking. I'm gonna hide behind one. Me, me. Like, the animal handling they check. From it, yes. Well, they're they're tied up though, right? Yeah, but they're, they're tied they're, up. They're like oh, room. okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to make an animal handling check on one of them. Oh, that's All a crit. Right. So that's twenty-two. Uh, to to try to calm one of them down, uh, or a, a number of them down. I guess yeah. as many as I can. They, they start going, meh, meh, meh. But as you uh, as you sort of you sort of sit still, they start to just look at you and, and back up as much as they can get with their their binds. And they're just watching now, but they've gone quiet. I'm gonna take a step forward still. So, yeah. If you pet them, I'm so upset. <laughs> Specifically, told me not to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just now <laughs> said you might as well do it now. I'm gonna come with Greg. Why do you last year? And I'm going to try and pet one. Well, I, know, I, I know combat is happening, but this is way more important. Well, combat didn't happen. Oh, it's about to. 20! Great, our rolls are exactly the same. Give me a shot. Off, power, baby. And you're able to pet one of the sheep. And yeah, it's real densely packed, and it's not quite as nice as you would have thought. Okay, but... Did you really roll to pet a sheep? Enjoy it. Yes. Does the sheep enjoy it? And I wasted a crit on it. Does yeah, the, the sheep, sheep enjoy kind of it. it? That's good. That's All good. Right. What you got, Sam? Oh, you're not here. All right, so I got nothing. You're just chilling. I feel you. What is that? That's my new dice tray, homie. Roll for initiative. My Cthulhu. Oh, dice what do they say? There it is. This is where the twenty would come in handy. That, that was bad. Oh, I got a twenty. Here we go. Oh, oh sure. Okay. Twenty. Oh, yeah. where did you get that? Huh? This is one of my birthday presents to myself. Nice. Oh, my birthday. Steam. Twenty-two. Hmm. I put it 
in two on accident. <laughs> Please do that again. You lie. Eight. <laughs> I have too many petting machines. Zero. Twenty-two. Fortune. Ten. Petting the sheepoo. Twenty-two. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 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 Twenty-two.
something up. Land on the Yoshi. Hunt house. some missiles. Do some damage. What is it? What is Fantastic Four? So, um, looks like that one was a doozy. One fall and <laughs> doozy. A total of uh, a 25. twenty-five poison damage. Yeah, that's almost half my health points. All right, that is half. And my that puts us at zero. Uh, uh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get up. Just you know, move to the uh, the edge of this little fence here. Look up to the uh, the one that our uh, our wizard there is attacking. Do they see me? I don't know. Okay. Uh, well, am I hidden from them? Would I have advantage on this? Currently, I guess let's find out. I'm 19, so yeah, currently you are. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna use my overcrank feature. All right, and uh, take a shot then with my shitty crossbow. I think I got him. That's a 26. A 26? A 26. All right, you got him. Um, he takes 13 damage. All right, cool. Your missile bores into your target with a grating sound yeah. as it slides against his scales. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna... Which one were you targeting? I'm sorry. Uh, ah, there. her uh, scales. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I guess I was... Yeah, I was aiming at the one that was... Blowing at me? Blowing at you. Yeah, yeah that's that uh, And then I'm, I'm gonna... Yeah. No, no, I don't want to. I can't mark it with a, a ranged attack, can I? Fighter stuff? Oh, uh, no. Fighter's mark is it. That's what I thought. So then I'm going to duck back down behind the thing and start reloading my crossbow. All right. It seems. On, you, it? <laughs> on me, I see. Um, oh, you didn't hear that. I'm way over there. In some sheep. I uh, implied it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Is that the word? Th that damage I was, was poison, right? Yeah, it was. I okay. It. Well, then... Um, <laughs> I don't think I'll have any problem throwing a vitriox spear on him. I don't reckon you will. Oh, I okay. love that spell. So I'll go ahead and do that so it pops the two of them. Need some d4s? I'll just reroll all of these. Going to 5, 8, 11, 13, 20, This is like my favorite spell in the game. I just love Boom. Acid damage. Uh, they need to make a constitution oh, save. Yes. Or dexterity save. Excuse me. They don't take the damage. Dexterity, you said? Uh, dexterity, yes. It's 12 and 14. Out. They both fail. Oh. So they're both going to take the same damage I did. 25. All right. Oh, you, did you hit yourself? No, but uh, they, oh. they hit me for... Okay, I was like, that seems <laughs> dumb. Why did and you do that? At the start of their turn, they'll take uh, 5 and 4. So just let me know when that happens. I'm going to charge the door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I open it? Sure. Does it open? It does. Okay, then I'm gonna go in and get under him. Okay. Um, uh, once you're inside, you can see a veritable treasure hoard mm -hmm. within That's this keep. This is this is thousands and thousands of gold worth in here. I hate to say I told you so. <laughs> we have a hoard. All right. You have a what? Well, once you're under there, um, the Ooh. dragons won't use legendary actions to make okay. perception checks. Okay. Uh, and this one notices the party uh -oh. over here, the one that already breath weapon. I'm, oh. I'm ready to go. Goodbye. So it flies down, landing in the pen. Are you going to kill all your sheep too? Because I'm right next to it. It lands on one of the sheep and crushes it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> this How's one. That feel? He's going to fly really around. Sad. He killed really all my he's just gonna. He's just going to fly around a bit. This way. Oh, do they do they both take that damage from the spear? This is a legendary action, so not yet. No, now this is this is their turn. Oh, the yeah, legendary action is a perception. They'll take twelve more acid damage. Yeah. All right, all right, and uh, Holgrax, the Everybody one that's in there, is gonna swoop down on his steam as you enter the room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, at the beginning of his turn, everyone needs to make a wisdom save. Oh, good. I rolled, okay. Yikes. It was, oh, I, was, I thought it was cocked. I thought it was oh, landing on the back wars. I mean, it looks good to me. Okay, we'll count it. 17 for this. Okay. 12. Okay. Yeah, hey, I think I'm, I think I'm a beard. Okay, we're Yikes! Barthoon, you're the only one that isn't frightened. You can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns and any effect on yourself on a success. Uh, so you have the frightened condition. So Holgrax swoops <clears throat> down onto his steam, uh, and as he does so, he sweeps one massive claw towards you as you dive down into the gold, and gold goes flying <laughs> as the claw <laughs> smashes <laughs> into it. The second <laughs> claw swaps down on top of you, pinning you beneath the claw, 
Ooh. Dealing 12 slashing damage. Oh, buried in gold. And you can try to shield out of it. Would it would a shield help me on that? What's your AC normal? Uh, 15 normally. It would. Then I'll use it. All right. <laughs> so throwing up a magical barrier, the claw tightens around it. Uh, and then he removes the claw and drives a serpentine neck downwards, trying to bite straight through that shield. And he can't do it. <laughs> it is, you can see the shield at, at points around you being like pressured and pushed inward. Uh, and you, you can hear blood trickling down your nose from the uh, from the force of this. <laughs> Heligrax landing over here. Go away! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> She lands and she's gonna I make. A, she's gonna make I a. Uh, she, 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 as she lands, she sweeps her tail, which is gonna hit both of you. Um, Yikes. Uh, twenty four versus each of your ACs. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, twenty four. Right, and easy. that's gonna be only nine bludgeoning damage. Oh, okay. Nine. It's not bad. All right. So since you bad. shot her, uh-huh. she's yeah, gonna try to bite you with a twenty three to hit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. All right, and that's. Do you have anything with poison damage that's no. special? All right, then a I'm total of thirty-three anymore. damage mm-hmm. as oh. she clamps down around your arm, yanking it away from your crossbow right as you were trying to cl- uh, crank it, and that puts us at Barthoon. Uh, so I have six spaces of movement, right? Three, four. You in there with me? I mean, I think you should. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. You didn't put so, down in constitution. I am going to. Sixty, yes. Um, I am going to raise the uh, the axe like to the sky, and the work one. Yes. Okay. Um, and the entire blade of the axe is going to flare white, and I'm going to raise it and then slash it in the air. And as I do, like a, a ray of of light is going to extend forward, and I'm casting uh, uh, ray of healing. All right. right, healing lance. Healing lance. Healing lance. Oh. Nice. nice. Um, I think it will only it. get him. Right? Yeah, the door here is closed. This is one's it? the open one. Yeah. Now, but you could have opened it with your object. Can I? Yeah. Can I yeah. That? You could have swung right. it open. Yeah. Then I'll swing it open and then get all three. All right. Cool. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Now I think healing lance does specify creatures, yeah. not allies. Uh huh. So, so it would heal the dragon too. Yeah, but I mean, but it still is might be totally worth it. What's the what's the range on the one? Uh, sixty feet. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna get her. It's all right. It's five well, feet wide. I'd say it's probably still worth it. Yeah, I'd agree to that. Three <laughs> allies for one enemy. That's, yeah, for sure. All right, so what's the healing? Uh, we're going to do a bunch. He's a life cleric. That's true. Uh, Meanwhile, you, uh, you can go ahead while we wait on the healing. It's going to be 17 for each of you guys. All right. Sweet. Um, okay, well, I'm going to do stillness of mind. And as an action, in the nice. effect of frightened on myself. Love it. Nice. That's good. I'm no longer frightened. Good. Nobody likes you. Smokes, dude. All right. And I'm gonna stealth and mystery. All right. So you're gonna you jump off. Now, hide is an action, unless you're rogue. You sure. can use a key point to do it, can't you? No. 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 Dash, yeah. disengage, or dodge. That's right. There's is different. But you could run over there and get behind the tree. From. I'm gonna do that. All right. Cool. I'm gonna like hug the tree trunk. All right, Cyril. I'm gonna not do that. Uh, so as a uh, as this Are dragon you disengaging though with your oh uh, yeah okay I figured as this dragon's barreling down on me then I'm I'm scared uh, but I've also survived some bad stuff before that's fair and so I see this thing my grip on my weapon kind of loosens and the blade kind of falls down to my side no and then I bring it up in both hands and swing in four times I'm action surging and I'm gonna use uh, nice. a use of my samurai feature to give myself advantage on weapon samurai. attack rolls uh-huh. uh, as my bonus action. To cancel the disadvantage that I get. All right, yeah. all right. So let's just have all four attacks first. Uh, ooh, one's no good for sure. Uh, okay, the lowest is an eighteen. That misses. Okay, the twenty-two is the next level. So that two of them are gonna hit. All right. And so that's gonna be no sir, no sir. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's a tiny little meal. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, four. I sharpen sudden. Your stifling six. onslaught cuts through your enemy before he can react. Or she. Twenty damage total right. from both hits. That's not not great, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible. So, I, I, and then I, at the end of my turn, I get to do another thing. Uh, no, uh, probably not. Eleven. Eleven will not do it. Esteem. Uh well, I'm gonna whirl about here and uh, okay. have get two more him make a uh, wisdom saving throw against mind spike. Ooh. 
do some damage, Mr. Wizard Man. 24. Okay, well, he's going to take uh, seven psychic damage. All right. <laughs> Aha! Don't quite rack his brain. All right. Uh, as you he do that, as a legendary off. action, Holgrax beats his wings, um, and Ooh. you two need to make death saves. Okay. All right. Oops, that should be eight. Oh, I don't nice. make it. For sure. 19 is saves that. Yeah, 7. All right, All right you'll Three. each take 11 bludgeoning damage, and you're knocked prone. And he flies straight up 30 feet. <laughs> you, you can try to uh, make an op attack against him. You just have disadvantage. You can. You can try it. I will try Might it. as well, right? Yeah. Unless you're saving your reaction for something else. I sure was not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, oh, 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 one and a two. As, oh. as he uses wings, you swing your halberd falling backwards from the force of this uh, this blast of air. Mm -hmm. um, and the halberd's knocked loose, and as you hit the ground, you reach out and you <laughs> grab it just at the last second before you lose your grip. Gotcha. Pelagrax does the same thing. Uh -oh. So what's it? Uh, Dex. Okay, that's that's cocked. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, I'll there take it. Uh, yeah. It's a 19. 19? That passes. So um, I think... You just don't got take my, anything. Got, right? got my back foot braced against the uh, the right. fence. I'm just gonna... yeah. So yeah, as the wings start to beat, and you hold your position right up against the fence. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's getting an opportunity attack. All right. Heck with that nonsense, man. Uh, uh huh. Uh, he's gonna take. That's uh, that's a good. And wait, I have the. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. I have that uh, fighting style. Oh right, yeah, twice. Uh, so both hits, and so that is. I'm gonna reroll. Why not? There we go. All right. Seven and ooh, six. So 13 more damage. All right, cool. So as she beats her wings, taking your falchion, you swing straight up across her foot, uh, leaving a gash and, and some blood, this blackish, greenish blood dripping from her foot. As she starts beating her wings and she lands back on the ground right next to you. All right, Holgrax now, being directly above the two of you, unleashes his breath weapon for the first time. I need both of you to make con saves. Okay, I don't have another port for this one. Con! I need strength! Con! Uh, 17 too low now. Yeah. 18? 18's too low. What? Yeah. Wow. Like I said, these are adults. They're huge. They're big things. We should just leave. All right. I don't know if we're going to be able to. <laughs> so. You both take 65 All right. poison damage. Good. Super unconscious. Nice. You got a... Super unconscious. Mm. Can you even absorb elements out of that? Uh, I don't have that. Pelagrax, mm -hmm. next to you, um, hits you with a claw attack for 23. That'll hit. And then as she's pinning you down, she tries to, to pin another oh. claw in there, but you roll out of the way of that one, so you only get hit by the one. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be 11 slashing damage. Okay. And then she tries to bite on you, or bite down on you, and she gets a so she misses. <laughs> Barthoon. I'm unconscious. Oh, oh, really? really? That took 65 poison. I have 70 <laughs> max health. Oh, oh, oh man. I don't know if right. you've been hit. Roll a... Uh... I got hit by the the, the wing attack. Oh, man. Roll a... The wing yes, attack. attack. I'm good. And, and Cyril, true. where you're at, you can see that both of them just stopped moving when they fell. From this caustic gas. You are. They're probably good at wisdom saves, yeah. The dragons? Yeah. Reasonably. The one just passed mine. My save's pretty high. Go, go, go save the car. You also know that just within earshot uh, is um, the Eomer and uh, the knight. Night cleric, uh, night cleric yeah. Corin. You could call for them. They might be abused. Yeah. It's probably pretty loud. I mean, they know that something's oh, yeah. going on. Yeah, they just don't know that they... Oh, they they're like, oh, it sounds like a party. <laughs> We're not invited, though, because I'm too old. All right, I'm going to do so. it. I'm, okay. I'm going to climb up in this tree. Okay. And I'm going to hour of reaping, and then you make wisdom saves. Also, bear D2. I guess. Uh, do you have to be able to see this dude? Or does he have to be able to he, see you? Because he's, he's inside, he's of, inside of a building. Oh. Yeah, right now, no, he flew up, and he's looking straight down. Oh, there's no there. roof to that building? No, that's right. why he was able to just dart in after his team, because he just dropped in. Thank God, I'm really sweet. I'm in a very visible spot in this tree. Yes. I'm not looking at you. Uh, an 18 and a 13. Wow, yeah. 13 does not pass. All right. So you were afraid. All right. She can't move. You were afraid, feet. purple dragon. You punk. I'll keep my rolls for you. All right. Cyril. 
Uh, well, I mean, I, I see that they're down, but uh, I'm I'm not a healer. It's not really my thing. It's fair. Uh, it's, I'm I'm just uh, I'm just attacking here. I'm just trying to bring this one down so I can go help uh, in a second. So I'm gonna swing in twice uh, again. Exp- wow, not so much. A one and a two. Yeah, uh, not so much, and a, and a really not so much. Okay. Uh, two attacks go very, very wide. I'm gonna extend my bonus action to heal myself because second wind is All a right. thing. It's steam. Uh, and then when, oh. and then I'm gonna uh, make the save again. But yeah, oh, I guess yeah. you can have him go. I've got a sixteen health. Uh, I got a success. Twenty. You got it. All right. Sixteen. Holgrax, now erupting from there, Bye. comes flying out and uh, lands directly in oh, front of. Um. Was it he? He found me. Oh, yeah, I know that. Okay. Directly in front of you, I. And as he lands, he looks to you and he says, You just said that you should have left when my sister gave you the chance. And after he says that. Uh, when my, I'm sorry, when my mate gave you the chance. After he says that, I, I say, um, When did we have the chance? Uh, when they, they said, What are you doing here? And, you and I said that we were looking for safe sleep and, and then, then they believe then they that's, 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 the that's the problem. You probably should have just left. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I say, uh, <laughs> These are dragons. They're not reasonable. I just, They're not. <laughs> I just wanted to pet the sheep or one. <laughs> oh, he grabs one of the dead sheep and chunks it at you. Also, I haven't attacked anything yet, so I'm just saying. I feel Does like it count as a missile? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to attack the sheep and throw it back. Oh, my God, uh, yes. 30 to hit. Sheep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Catch oh. it and throw it back. I have to get to where it wouldn't hit me. Right? No, you have to reduce the damage. Yeah, here. but I mean, what's the damage? Uh, it deals 15 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god, that'd be tough. Uh, what is it again? Okay, t- so plus your five, dex mod plus your mod plus model. dex, so 5 to 10 plus 8 is 18. Hey, you, know, you blocked it. You right. the sheep. So as the sheep comes <laughs> flying at you, you, you grab it and sort of roll down onto the ground. Are you going to throw it back? Uh, heck yes. Ah! <laughs> roll the hit. Didn't expect that. Can I take my crit? Sure. I'm going to take the crit then. All right. What's the damage? There's 11 damage. <laughs> All right. Get sheep. All right. As you hit the ground, you're holding the sheep. You roll kind of over the sheep and then kick it back up with a bicycle kick <laughs> yeah. straight into the dragon where it Just slams into his chest. He looks down at first furious and then looks up and goes, <laughs> And I say, I feel really bad about this because I like, kick the sheep. Um, <laughs> he, then, <No>. um, <laughs> he then swings in his claw attack. That's 24 to hit. Ooh, for 10 slashing damage and it tries to bite you for 25 to hit for 34 Good total damage. Night. <laughs> Do you have anything with poison that's special? No. Okay, 34 total damage. So 40... no. 34 total damage. Okay. 44 if you include the slash. 44 total damage. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, Helagrax is now uh, fighting you and she has disadvantage. Uh-huh. So. Oh, I'm scared. I should be, but I... Yeah, I, so I, three I, people are down. I am not. She got a 28 with one well, I'm, I'm a little scared. A disadvantage? Yeah. Like, it's a dark and a 23 with the mm-hmm. other. Let's go. Dragon. Wow. Punk. All right. Bye, Greg. For 13 and yeah. 17 slashing damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does this count as a TPK? I'm leaving. She got a, a 28 to hit with her uh, bite attack. Speaking as a free action. With a total of 22. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually right? not doing oh, too Oh, I wanted to yell for help. That was, <laughs> that was what I wanted to do on my turn. Oh, did that's you? That's exactly what you didn't do. You, you wanted to yell for help? <laughs> yeah, I forgot that All right. that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I, was, I, was like, I was right there with Nick. I was like, help is okay. Can we, can we, get, can we get Sam's character intro in here in any moment? Nope. 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 So was this fort just like, if you if you guys choose to go to this fort, you just this is an make new characters? Or... Tell you the truth, <laughs> I'm not sure if I would even make a difference. Um, the idea is, is that there are a whole lot of things that are not really your level out there. <laughs> I figured you'd flee when you saw the dragons. Nah, son. I got hit first. But, the, you know, the Sam's D6 the one who always has a character I'm decided we're going to have a fight. <laughs> my intelligence is very high, but my wisdom <laughs> not so me some thanks. <laughs> my wisdom is the high one, which is why I wanted to leave. Good. Fair. All right, I guess so I just left without saying anything. Uh, uh, you guys are unconscious. Who wants to control you, Murray? Who wants to control Night Cleric Corin? Uh, I think you can go with Night Cleric, right? Sure. Basically doing your thing. Basically doing uh, my thing. 
Goodbye. So you get to be a bear. I'll be a bear. Goodbye. So Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm gonna die. Are you just out of here? Oh, bye. How much health do you still have? Five. Oh, really? I still have fifty-eight. <laughs> between so between all the. Seventy-nine. Yeah. Yeah, I have the uh, fifty-eight total. Yeah, I have a D10 hit die, and I rolled yeah, really well. Really well. Really and I've and I've just been bounced back up by second wind and the healing lands. There and you I've go. got five temp HP every okay. time I did my little. I'll just roll whatever thing. and add whatever for the wear bear. God darn it. <laughs> God darn it. I'll just roll whatever, <laughs> roll whatever and add. Whatever. add whatever. And they will go on your turns. Uh, Barthoon, roll a death save, and then your uh, and then Night Ferret Corian can go. All right. Come on with that. Twenty. We're good. Not 20 good, but good. Not 20 good, but but a success. 20 would have been real good. That would have been very nice. What's Corin doing? Corin, once I figure out what he's, what he's got here, uh, considering I was just given this character. You know, <laughs> here, say like, what, you know, say what. Seconds ago. We'll do them both on his turn. Okay, there you go. That's we have a, a little bit of time to figure right. it out. Do what? Do I? I... Don't really feel anything towards losing you, so I'm gonna disengage. <laughs> Later. That's fair. Um. At, at this point, I would not have expected. Do you have any health potions? Because I don't. I, I you know who uh, does. I wasn't given the opportunity. Mm -hmm. do, do oh really? Do you have health potions? Um. I didn't know we could start with health potions. Let's find out. I'm kidding. They bought a bunch in town. Um, I went down, but something I went down. He's been in the crow's game. I don't have any in my inventory. So I might not. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, then you guys are gone. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna disengage. Okay. And then I'm gonna dash. Still got master wounds. And, oh, uh, that's good. That's okay. Can I go in here? Uh, you might not be able to make it there. You'd have to go up the stairs. And once you got up the stairs, you'd have to go like around this way. And once you got up the stairs, the door's here. She's I don't know, a step of the wind. Movement. That's true. Yeah. She's still pretty Are you kidding? I can go 55 normally. So that's 110. Yeah, you can probably get up there. 65. <laughs> if she dashes also. No. Yeah, that's ridiculous. All right. Open the door? Yeah. Jesus, you're like flash. Yeah, Inside, very fast. Um, you can see oh, that um, Wait, there's another dragon. No, I'm playing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's an elephant. Uh, so inside the towers. Uh, you, you see an assortment of dead skeletons and rusty equipment. <laughs> as opposed to? Uh, well, as opposed to animate skeletons. Oh, okay, good. So you see a bunch of, uh, a bunch of dead skeletons and rusty equipment, all corroded, um, and the skeletons seem to have been, like, poisoned in some way. Um, you can see that the breastplates of the dead are etched and pitted, and the wood and steel that once formed the weapons of the men who defended this place are broken and brittle and completely unusable. Mm. Uh, with one exception. Ooh. Did I just find a magic item on accident? So, uh, you can see that <laughs> the one of these guys, they all, they look to be dressed like bandits, and one of them has slung at his side a, uh, what kind of weapon is it? It is Ranged. a, all right, Ranged. cool, Ranged. is a Ranged. scimitar, Dang it. um, that's set with a blazing fire opal in the center of the crossbow guard on either side. The simple melee weapon? A scimitar is martial. martial. So, yeah, no monkey. Uh, well, I'll pick it up. You're Are a monk. Are there windows? Yeah. I can give it to our friends. Yeah, there are uh, There are several arrow slits, yeah. That she's a martial. No. Um, to get simple weapons, short swords, and... I'm going to shoot at a dragon from in here. Okay. I'm also going to close the door and hope that they don't know that I'm in here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Coming at me. You know what? I'm gonna pick up this thing. Can I like put a rope through like a back window so I could like leave if I needed to? Uh, uh, uh. uh yeah, you could probably do that. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the scimitar. But you did already use your object interaction to get the door, so, so you see the scimitar. You, uh, yeah, you use your action to disengage, the and then you. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you used your whole turn. <laughs> but you, you can have these ideas for later. <laughs> Zero. All right, uh, I'm I'm still I'm swinging in. I'm not at uh, disadvantage anymore. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to go ahead and use my last use of my get advantage on attack rolls to actually have advantage this time. So first attack is is a good, not quite a crit, but pretty good. The second one is what is that not good? Not, not a crit on that. that. Uh, so that one, we're going to roll that two. Okay. So that is 11 damage. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to mark her. 
All right. Oh my God. You slash and hack into your enemy with a devastating assault, but she still stands. Yeah, it's okay. I think she would. All right. Steam. Well, as Steam uh, is going to roll a death save and have a success. All right. Hurrah. But what is uh, what is bear bear dude doing? Bear uh, dude. Is he going on my turn? Yep. Yeah, as Emer comes barreling through the doors. Ah, what are they? Who's in trouble? Uh, uh, dragons, everyone. And he's going to leap at this close dragon. Yeah, running up, he literally jumps up off the ground into the air, one massive <laughs> claw swinging upwards. And one claw is what hits critically. Oh, All right. right. For uh, 44, it's going to be 7, 14, 20. Four. Four. Yeah. All right. He gouges deep into the dragon's hide, cleaving uh, from her hide several different scales Rip. and leaving four long claw marks in her belly. Oh, yeah, Good work. Shoot that. Right. And then he is going to turn to him <laughs> and cast that grip on the arrow. By the light of Lodomir, the crusade shall strike you down in the name of the Knight Imperator. And the Lord Bishop. And as he says that, he raises his maul to the sky, and beams of light come down Just a twinkle. as he casts Mass Cure Wounds on everyone. Yay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, oh my boy. goodness. You're not in range. Mm, no. <laughs> it's Mass Cure Wounds, not Mass Oh, wounds. what are you right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, it's the big one. I mean, it's not the big one. You can't hit her because she's yeah, she's, she's way over there. Oh, God. Which Mass is a bummer because she, you know. I needed it. I needed yeah. it. It's going to be 17 health. Sweet. All right. I'll take it. Sweet. Does that make Jeez. us get up? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sure. Just the game. All right. So that makes it. And now I go on your turn. Gotcha. I'm not, I'm not even All right. afraid. That makes it Holgrax's turn. I'll send you to A week ahead? You're not technically standing yet. Oh, there's still one problem. Holgrax, seeing you oh, flee. Your movement. Yeah, you want me to get up? I was up? very fast. <laughs> I closed the book. Yes, he watched you go like this. Whoa. She's very fast. Break down I'll have to eat her quickly. Break it down. Don't say anything. It'll take a dragon enough time. No. Yeah, okay, he can make it all the way to the tower. He oh, okay. slams down. You can feel the tower rumble around you. As the dragon slams down atop it, and you hear, <laughs> and you can see several stones knocked loose from the ceiling, <laughs> and several more stones tumble down, and he says, "Stone walls cannot save you. Did you not see the smashed tower?" Yeah, I was leaving. <laughs> All right, and that puts us at Pelagrax, uh, and she has just been hit by this big bear. So she's going to turn to uh, Eomer and claw at him for a 19 to hit. Oh, oh yeah, Eomer. That's you, buddy. Do like 16 <laughs> slashing damage. And then she is, tries to bat you aside. Okay. Is that magical slashing damage? I will find out in a minute. Okay. She hits for 20. That'll do it. And that's going to yep. deal 11 slashing damage. Okay. And then she's going to try to bite you for a 19. Uh, yep. And that's going to deal 34 total damage. <clears throat> Uh, that is non magic Okay. And 34 is... Well, stop wasting them. Barthoon. Uh, I... am going to use half my minute and stand... Yeah, I, I was close. I, I'm just, I've been and... pinballed up and down by all these demons. We're about to get some more, I think. Yay. Oh, well, and the 5 temp HP doesn't seem like much, but it keeps cushioning those claws. I think I... I'm going to cast. Do it. Do it. And do it. I think I'm just going to step out and kind of have a another wash. Yeah. Have another wash of, of healing magic. Yay! Wash over everybody <laughs> with good. I'm uh, blow hat. Max healing. <laughs> All right. And that'll be Great. just. I guess the three of us again. All right. You I. Rude. Um. I'm gonna climb out of the window on my rope. <laughs> <that I'm laughs> just... Alright, <laughs> leaving. Oh, I have five health! Roll me a stealth check. Okay. You would have more if you were over here. Ooh. Fighting. Well, I mean, like a hero, she, she probably would have died. 19? Okay. Sneak out the window. Um, 12 for you guys. And uh, can I. And 17 for me. What was your action? 
I'm gonna get Max not more. like I'm gonna gauge the gift's distance. One second. I don't think mass healing is. I thought it was. Check. I, I, might no, be. I think I might it is, but I'm not so that would have meant you got an action to sacred flame a guy. Or Can I sacred flame a guy? Yeah, it is a bonus action. Yeah, sacred okay. flame a guy. Well, then I will sacred flame this guy. All right, I, that gal. Dex save. That gal. That's right. So dex save. So I roll pretty, pretty good Ooh. for myself. Um, yes. I think but, fifteen pass. Uh, I don't know. What's your yeah. save? All right. Pretty if sure that it's. He happens to see me. Thirteen. Right. Uh, presence is active. So let's make a way to save it because we can. Right, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. That's it. Okay. I'm leaving. Goodbye. That makes it Cyril's turn. Alright, I'm swinging in twice. Uh, no longer at advantage because I'm out of those. Okay. Uh, but first and second attack coming in. Both are going to hit, I think. Uh, 21 and more than that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so first attack hits four. Ooh, we roll both of those dice. Thank you. Uh, for nine damage. And the second one. Is we use both of those as well. Yeah, there we go. Ten damage. Okay. And I'm gonna mark her again. Oh, should the cleric go on my turn? Did you say? Yes. Again. My bad. All right. Well, I'm going on Steam's turn again then. That's fine. All right, and it's a Steam's turn. Hey, it's a Steam's turn. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna have Mirror go ahead and miss first, so he misses twice. Okay. With his claws, uh, and have that uh, lady. Uh, well, you know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have her make wisdom save. Never mind, that's fine. You just like her again? Yeah. She got a 14. Ha <laughs> ha she failed. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> she failed. It's 11 damage. I'm a loser. So she takes 11 damage. Okay. <laughs> Stop doing that, Craig. Sorry. Say higher. <laughs> 24 next time. Alright, cool. Cool. Um, Psychic powers only have about a twenty percent accuracy. What is it? What is the? Uh, he is going to approach the dragon and cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. Woo! So dragon's gonna make that wisdom save. Make that wisdom save, dragon. Ooh, buddy. Sixteen. Oh. Uh, it passes, so okay. it's going to take. Seven damage. Okay. Seven regular damage. All right. Um, that makes it their turn. She, sorry, well, first legendary action. She's going to beat her wings. Everyone there needs to make a deck save. I failed. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Seven. Seven. Oh, in here as well. Yeah. And the priest. Uh, the priest uh, failed. He got an eight. Uh, in here also failed. All right. All three of you are not prone. And take 15 bludgeoning damage. Whoa. She's getting off attack, though. She leaves. She, she is leaving. Leave. And she moves to Van Punk. Ten disadvantage. Yeah, but I have advantage because of okay, the thing. So it's just one, one, two roll, one hits. All right. The other one, not so much. So that is a bomb. Ooh. Um, that keeps going yeah. straight. Cool. Seven damage. All right. I imagine she still looks totally fine. She flies over to here. And you see her grab a small bowl holding a bunch of gems. And then that's. Alright. And then she starts flying into the air. How high up above us did she move when she was flying away? Uh, she she, like she probably. I mean, she basically went straight up because she was trying to get over the oh, thing. Okay, cool. Um, and so she flies 40 feet into the air. Okay. Alright. Uh, the one over here continues smashing into the uh, <laughs> keep, just pounding. And finally, the the ceiling of this tower breaks open, and he lands on all fours within the tower. Is he confused? And starts looking around, Is he very confused? and you hear, Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> Man, you made him mad. I'm really tempted to just, from the tree, and I go, I am going to. You said she's up in the air, right? That's right. Okay. I'm going to walk into the room then. I want to quickly just, as I'm in the room preparing to cast a sacred flame, uh, I, I think I'm actually going to cast a guiding bolt. But um, I want to, as I'm preparing to cast this, just take a quick glance around the room. What does maybe a, a two or three second 
survey okay. the room. You can see so many coins. <laughs> uh, there's a heap of smashed chests and coins, and standing atop it is a life-sized lion made of brass. Wow. Um, That's cool. It's right atop the, the pile, masterfully carved. Um, and you can see that, yeah, it's there's rest. there's so many. The chests look like they were part, chopped apart with axes, mixed mounds of coins. You can see pieces of bone, marble, all sorts of things within this one. Gotcha. All right, and then I'm going to raise my halberd and cast Guiding Bolt. Guiding Bolt. Don't hit it. All right. Sure, sure, sure do miss. Head all head. All right, uh, and you're the you're I'm dude. sure. We'll just have him go on a steam stream. Nice. You are? Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, bye. Alright, of yeah. course. Zero. I'm, I'm gonna all right. stealth it, though. Okay. I guess we all go that way. Okay. Go stealth it. Uh, 18. Okay. I can make it around. Ah! Are you trying to get to the terribly shape? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You just go for wall. Go for your monk. Wall. Oh, I'm gonna. What are you doing? No, I'm done. Okay. I just ran. I'm gonna take a shot at the uh, as the dragon as I'm approaching, and then I'm gonna press myself up against the wall. All right. right. Take the shot with our hit or miss, and I got a 20 to hit. They'll hit. Oh, okay. Uh, for where's my damage on? Huh? Overcrank. So 12 damage. And then I'm gonna use my last. Movement to get up this wall over here. I'm just gonna press myself flat again so I can start reloading my weapon. All right, I make that. That puts us at a scene. Okay, well I'm gonna move under this dragon who's flying up and uh, throw a lightning bolt at her. Okay. Yeah. She, she's gonna roll one. Oh. And okay. she's gonna take 32 lightning damage. All right. Ooh. All right. Yeah, that was a, a big chunky lightning bolt there. The okay. mirror's got enough. How's she looking? This dark. She's looking rough. Yeah! The cleric just, just walks... deal with that one over there. That's fine. The cleric I'm stands up, to... walks a little bit, and heals me with a healing bar. He's going to dash four health. Dash over this way. Hmm. Probably get that more. <laughs> All right. He's not a life cleric. Um, she continues to beat her wings, and she's going to fly 32 squares that way. Oh. oh. She's just leaving. Yep. Okay. You got an attacker? Basically. Okay. Um, From the sky? She's 40 feet up. <laughs> So, that one uh, turns its head as Eomer approaches and, and sees him through the, uh, the door. It turns its head, seeing his mate flying through the sky, and he beats his wings, and he's going to fly 32 squares that way, which I also believe is also that. Hmm. Run! Run! And as he flies, he says, Your lords will pay for your insolence. Well, that's not a deal. I kneel to no lord. And they're gone. So somebody's gonna pay for that. <laughs> Barthun walks over to a steam. You and... notice that they're flying to the east. Barthun walks over. Uh oh. To... Wait, wait. Good. Uh -oh. Good. Hey, maybe they'll make a mess of the crow's gate before we get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Woo! Wonderful. Uh, Barthun's gonna walk over to a steam and clap him on the back. <laughs> maybe oh. just a little bit too hard. <laughs> Will work, yes. You guys um, killed a dragon. You don't think that would have been nice to, to mention at any point since I've been here? Well, you are not a dragon. I do not I, see how it would be good. I, I just thought it would be good information to know. Are you, are you joining us now? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to, like, peep over the, the wall and be like, Hey, are you guys alive? That was less soluble than I guess it might be. <laughs> the last one that you said we fought, uh, how yeah. did that one go? I'm one of the okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested as well, because I don't the, know anything about it. The last dragon that you fought, how did that go? Well, we defeated it. Mm -hmm. well, well enough as I could say, I'm surviving to the day. I learned the language from it beforehand. You... How? Well, we, we had a conversation over a campfire. This is something more strange than it was. Very much so, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, later part. Uh, <laughs> for now, there is uh, all of this beautiful wealth to be examined. Uh, <laughs> I, I would like to now examine. Examine. Right. Uh, uh, running a practice eye over 
So that lion is masterfully carved with every detail, breathes life into the figure. Its mane is swept back as if the lion were mid-stride. Its eyes glint menacingly, and the countless individual strands of hair in its coat can be made out. It was truly a master craftsman who created this. A small iron spike is embedded in its left front paw. Huh. You can see... Um, we should find a mouse to pull him over. <laughs> you can see the uh, spilling from the smashed remnants of at least six large chests, which, again, look as though they were chopped apart with axes, are mounds and mounds of mixed coins. You could try to take them all. Who knows how long the dragon will be gone. The dragons will be gone. Um, but just glancing over it, it looks like there's somewhere between five and 10,000 gold pieces. Wow. Somewhere in there. Somewhere between twenty and thirty thousand silver pieces. Somewhere between fifteen and twenty thousand copper pieces. You can see a dozen silver candlesticks shaped like slender castle towers, each worth twenty gold. You can see two marble goblets with translucent quartz stems, each worth thirty-five gold. Three silver combs, each worth forty gold. A wooden statue of a graceful fawn. With one of its legs broken off, Aww. worth seven gold. It's because the leg's broken. Otherwise, oh. it'd be two hundred fifty. <laughs> a large bronze bowl, the rim of which is studded with lapis lazuli, uh, mm. worth three hundred gold. A gold decorated hunting horn carved from a single large piece of bone, worth mm. two hundred gold. A bejeweled longsword, and a marble spear the size of a small barrel of ale. Can I have your pretty longsword? Wow. What would you do with it? Use it. You can't use long swords. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My brain is disconnected. Mm. Made it a bone. So you can. Uh, and the marble oh, no, sphere no, um, is covered with I carvings of uh, of men's faces leering from flaming doorways, creatures dragging winged horses from the sky with long barbed chains, and uh, serpents or men with the heads of serpents with forked tongues impaling uh, dwarves and elves on wooden stakes. Charming. This thing is huge, though. It looks oh. to weigh 900 pounds or so. Yeah, uh, we will not be taking this with us. And that was the yes. goblet thingy? No, that was the, oh, the big spear. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The marble yeah, I, spear. I didn't figure we were taking that with us. Can I shoot the trebuchet? At what? The ground over there. You should load a, an ancient powerful sword into it. Don't actually. That's a scimitar. I, can I, I put the scimitar into it and shoot it at one of the ends? I don't, I don't, I don't. Does anything in this don't room appear to be magical? In this room? Yeah, uh, the sword? Okay. The, the bejeweled longsword is not either? Okay. There's a bejeweled longsword. Oh, okay. So you you didn't give a price point for it, which is why I thought. Like, oh, uh, I didn't. Let me look. Ah, yeah. It's worth 450 gold pieces. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I think if we're, if we're setting up here, I think it's worth to go around. I'll detect magic if it was. Oh, oh so does he detect magic in any? Yes, you detect mm -hmm. magic on that side. Yeah. Nice. So, oh. so there you go. where did you come from? Um, I'm on the treasure chest, so if you want to talk to me, you can talk to me. Oh, you're not 30 feet within me, though. Oh, oh then yeah, you don't want to detect magic. Fair enough. You're just. Why are you over Because there? I want to shoot it. Okay. That's what I, that was my plan. I was going to shoot it at the dragon. The dragon's left. Now I just want to shoot it. Like so do we hear the, the trebuchet go off? Yes, you hear. I'm, I push in front of the wizard, who clearly is not well suited for frontline combat, and get my sword at the ready. And I wave, and I hold up the scimitar that I found. <laughs> I wish she survived this long. She ran away. She ran away! She ran away! I found the trebuchet! She ran away! That's what I was doing. Inspiration will be again for you, Amy. Oh, yeah, sure. Yay. She ran away. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> okay, guys. Eating everything. <laughs> Stop eating everything. He's still doing it. You see? Booster gold. <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> she ran away. Do you know the way? Um, she oh, ran stop you that were, immediately. You were dead. So for all you know, that's where I ran to. You don't know that I ran away. Yeah, no, you didn't run here. So what are these? You ran there. there. A big these, they're, they're not a thing. That was a bowl containing, uh, it was containing oh. three large <laughs> gems of unidentifiable make, uh, each whitish blue, and you could see little green spheres, kind of what looked to be, it looked like a, a like these glass gems, basically, and there looked to be a second layer, hey, and then uh, there were little green spheres floating around go? within it. Um, 
I mind spiked that girl. But I mean, yeah, she is. Off to these. Oh, do you? Right. Yeah. Describe how that works. Uh, on a failed save, you also always know the target's location until the spell ends, up to an hour, but only while the two of you are on the same plane of existence. While you have this knowledge, the target can't become hidden from you, and if it's invisible, it gains no benefit from that condition against you. I love that spell. That's so good. Good. So that dragon is still flying directly to the east, though it's now slowed down. Directly to the east. Basically, uh, yeah. So not to the. Those look like it's heading east. down to the crow's gate now. Okay, all right. So it's going for you. It said our masters. Would our lords. That we yeah. Our lords. But it said that to the two of you. Who does he think a fellow in the square fealty to? Perhaps she will lay siege for the wait. Yeah. Oh, a long way to find your lords. <laughs> and it would not be quite that direction. I, I walk up now. I've made my way out off this over here. And I come straight to you and I hand you the weapon I found. <laughs> I tell you about another dead guy. A fool is the Antichrist guy. You start spinning it around in one hand, it's and the speed gradually gets faster and faster until it's just a blur. That's the right. Uh, I have the uh, the strike yeah. thing where I can no, no, the scimitar. So. Blurring blow this time. And so it's it's really quick. <laughs> now does he detect? Oh no, I guess you wouldn't have done that because you had. Yeah, Did you detect hasn't. magic or mind spike then? Uh, I mean, I would have had her mind spike while she was running, but she's been all detect magic. Yeah. So does he detect magic from this thing? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, wow. Uh, it's uh, quite an object. Yes, I found it. While you were asleep. Yes, it While I was looking for mm-hmm. weapons to use against the dragons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, but you stumbled upon this weapon while you were looking for it. Yes, I Right. Uh, <laughs> I really have no place in this argument. Uh, is this weapon helpful to our uh, cause? I will or? identify this weapon. <laughs> All right. Um, it is I will a DJ this weapon. Scimitar. Oh! Hey. That's no, it's not. Mine's an axe. This is a. Yours is an ill one. Oh, okay. Oh. Long time wolf. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So two d six fire damage. Mm-hmm. Wow. It does require two. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I don't have any magical there you go. items. Nice. So your scimitar wasn't magical. Uh no. Yeah. It's uh, you know, from Great. all appearances, it's just nice. It is now. No, my my great scimitar is just oh, fancy. Yeah. It just looks like it was made by someone who really knew what they were doing. It, it's probably not on the same level of craftsmanship as this lion thing, but it, it's a it's a nice sword that I've got. Uh, but this one's clearly magic. The grove has connections. <laughs> oh no, the grove had nothing to do with it. I stole this. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, there was a dwarf in the auctions who was uh, traveling through. Well, he was not. Uh, he was rather heavily guarded, but nothing I can't do with it. <laughs> well, I suppose I'm glad we have you on our side. And you? Yeah. We should find a way to fortify the north while we have it. Um, we need to fix this. I imagine our friends will return soon. Yes. Uh, uh, we did not do so badly, I think, uh, for my first engagement against a dragon. Well, we are standing. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't go down at all. I did. I wonder why. Mm. Going to the treasure chest. Running away. Going to the treasure chest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perhaps we should have someone standing by on the treasure chest for yeah. the next time that the yeah, yeah. dragons yeah, yeah. return. Yeah, yeah. Ever comes walking she back. seems to be very keen to volunteer. Oh, he, uh, he says, "What are you thinking, going up against two dragons?" I point to him. And comes back to you. Because he was the one that was like, we're fighting you. And everyone well, else I just was like, we don't really stuff. want to fight you. You, you have no That's idea. <laughs> like he said. I'm the only one. You you might have been been but she does After know he, he said, said something, something and then the happen. dragon smiled and attacked him. That's yeah. fair. But it might have so. been an attempt at parlay and then the dragon just kind of went, yeah. That's not <laughs> working. You funny, stupid. You funny, stupid. That's dragons. Night Claire and Corin says, we should leave this place before we are caught mm. between a rock and a hard place. Uh, to be perfectly frank, it did not seem to me that we failed altogether poorly against the dragon. It, one seemed, to my eye, at least quite wounded. I have bloodied, perhaps, but I've seen dragons sustain worse injuries than that. Well, of course, it was still flying, but another few bolts from me. I was there at the Battle of Lodrin. A dragon doesn't go down that easily. 
that was a fancy right for Jeeves. Emer says, well, I've been fucking the dragons before, but uh, that wouldn't seem like a punk. <laughs> you did do a pretty good job on it. Yeah, he, he clobbered that dragon. One one hit, that dragon was kind of like, okay, wow. wow I was Enril comes sh- running into the fort. Um, Harbin behind her, leading the leading the horses. I went to him. And, this guy is pretty neat. And Anaril uh, <laughs> comes running into the fort and says, Is everything all right? I saw two dragons flying overhead. Yeah, fleeing overhead, I think you mean. <laughs> well, they were in one kind of flight or other. <laughs> yes, we convinced them to leave the fort to us. Forever? No. Well, <laughs> no. We did not strike up arms, uh, per no. se. <laughs> but um, we have now. Uh, they were not interested in ballet. I assume that is what the two of you were attempting. They were interested in us leaving. And we uh, were interested in not doing that. Mm, this fort is, is in quite a valuable position for the crusade, but it's not valuable enough to throw our lives away. Well, we have a trebuchet now. We could simply blast away at it and make your journey. Perhaps. To be fair, we had a trebuchet before. And but we had no one on you. Yes, I was going to ask you about that. Why did no one check the situation? When you walked in, the first thing you should have noticed is the trebuchet on that tower. The My smash... perception check did not reveal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the very first thing. That's great. That's oh, okay. uh, <laughs> you should have noticed the trebuchet on that tower. There, that tower is smashed. There's also a cover there and there, and he points to the two smashed bits of the walls. And he says, uh, whenever you enter a new environment, it's important to check your surroundings, that way you're able to defend yourself against whatever threats might be in that environment. I see you tried to take cover with the sheep. In excellent uh, situation, if the dragons had cared about the sheep, but I don't know if that's what dragons are known for. And sheep don't make particularly good cover against poison. <laughs> and you see, this is why we brought him. <laughs> I didn't know what's happening. Eomer shrugs and he says, or you could just hit it. <laughs> Can I let the sheep free? it hard and fast and you won't need cover. Can I set the sheep free? Yeah, there are three sheep left. <laughs> oh. Can I pat each one of them? No. Yeah, one For of sure. them is a, is a very young lamb. Oh, can I keep it? <laughs> oh, can I keep it? We, we, might just we are it. not raising a petting <laughs> Um, I point to the harbor. Harbin. Harbin says, well, I don't know if your sheep can carry a message as good as a uh, uh, pigeon. They also fly they real bad. They wouldn't expect it. That's true, they wouldn't. Uh, we could try it. I might be able to get it a shot. Uh, but the training normally has to start when they're but a babe. And while well, this one's young, I don't know if it's ready to be trained for that. Now, I do know a fellow what herds sheep. This is disgusting. You can certainly <laughs> go stop taking our serious. What the heck? He's my best friend. Why are you being rude to him? I lean over because to him. Because <laughs> And I just say, to be to be fair, she made that sheep fly pretty well. I did. You did a great job with the sheep. Once it was dead. Um, well, I give them a pat pat, and I send them on their merry way. Me, 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 me. And they leave. <laughs> I, I, uh, In my brain, that, that right. vine was the sheep telling me that it loved me, and then I said that I loved it back. And then they said goodbye. Well, in your brain, that's what they say. <laughs> in uh, this one, the, the poison seemed to spread out over a large area, not something I could easily avoid. I'm not familiar with dragons, but I know that each uh, color has its own uh, weapon. Could you clarify that for me? Yes, I could. I'll feature weapons if we're going to be hunting each other out. <laughs> I saw five of them in the field at Lovren. All five on the same body. Each head had a different glass. The green of poison, the black of acid, the red of fire. And then, of course, the white was a freezing, frosty grasping wind. And then finally, finally my least favorite, tore holes through entire battalions and regiments. The lightning blasts from the blue. Rather like yours. It did not seem to care much about that at all. It did not. No one kept fleeing after uh, taking the damage. Uh, well, 
and you're sure we are resolved to wait here until they return? I think it is wiser to wait once fortified rather than meet them on the road. Well, I am sworn to you. If that is your decision, here we shall wait. And I want to kill a dragon, so I'll <laughs> stay. I see. <laughs> I've met Pushes, I'm really mad about it. <laughs> I've met Pushes few dragon slayers uh, uh, for your view. Errol says, uh, <laughs> I'll take Harbin <laughs> and we will hole up in one of the towers. Which appears the most yeah, safe I, to you? Yeah. <laughs> it looks okay. like. That's the only one that's still. Well, this one has a trebuchet. That I guess. Was, yeah, that's still nice. But this is where the dragons came left from. No, they left they, they went this way? Yeah. So they're going to come back this way. Yeah, we'll hit them in the face with that. She says, uh, Yeah, but we don't want them to be in the, the tower. southwest tower is where I, where I would go. I want to take real quick ten minutes for both the cleric and I to prayer feeling. To prayer feeling. Okay. We're gonna take a long rest here. We're probably good. Well, but probably do that first, just in case the long rest is interrupted. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. I'm with that. All right. So I'm gonna be practicing with my uh, with my new weapon. Um, I say uh, I'm gonna be digging first. through the treasure. If I'm using only one blade, which it does seem quite a fine one, I. Uh, don't have anything to do with my opposite hand. You wouldn't happen to have found a fine uh, other blade or a shield or something. Huh? I do not. Uh, well, there is a uh, long sword in this pile here. Uh, Everyone's going to get 23 uh, from mine. 23. 23. And I mm-hmm. think it's going to be. Yemer says, uh, Give me 10. I'm graceless. I'm going to go ranging. If I see a dragon flying overhead, I'll come rolling back. Would you mind if I accompanied you? If that is all right with your Yes, yes, yes um, as you will. Digging right, through, through the pile of the coins. Fine, come on. It's gonna Just be. Don't get in my way. And he's still in bear form, and he strides out into the uh, in the woods. Twenty-three from mine, ten from Gorin's. Yep. So oh, thirty-three total. Hunting one. Yep. One charm of it. And stuff. Um, as you walk, he says, So, what's your story? Mm. He's just a uh, humble Nawin who has been serving as a uh, soldier of fortune, a humble, a privateer, a... for a Nawin. Yeah, he's pretty humble. No. Uh, a bandit, frankly, for uh, a number of decades. And why would a bandit help me? Would you? It would take a, a far more callous heart than mine to uh, leave a bleeding man lying dead in the snow. Certainly you deserve to live after taking that much punishment. But and yet from the stories I've heard, your people have no love of men. Um, and no one has much love of a, of a werefolk. Indeed. You would need to seek the company of your own kind to find much compassion there. Perhaps, but I don't need compassion. I have my people's respect. That's good enough for me. I should hope so. At that, you hear um, up ahead, I oh, could speak down. Hmm. Well, that's something. It doesn't sound like there's weapon to me. No. Stay low. Come, let's get closer. Mm-hmm. And as you sneak closer, you can see that there's two guys um, messing with a cart. And the, the cart has uh, has one of its wheels that's sort of broken in half. Um, and, and he's like, I thought I told you that we needed to bring a spare, just in case something like this would have happened. And now, them dragons are ranging over it. Take me and die. <laughs> <laughs> this here is just exactly what we are for when we bring back mandatory this situation. Well then, those fellows look odd, and you can see that they are indeed, both of these guys, um, are wearing uh, tall pointed helms, uh, and that they have uh, they have brigandine plate on, and uh, each of them has slung at his side um, a short sword, and it looks like there are two halberds in the back of the cart, um, and you can see that... Uh, that these guys do look like some kind of armed soldiers. Each of them, huh. underneath their brigandine, is wearing a long, uh, 
yellow coat. History check to see if I recognize that helmet. That seems sure. oddly distinctive. I got an 18. Okay, yeah. That helmet is one that you've seen before. It's a helmet worn by the Hell Knights of Crow's Gate. <laughs> now, the Hell Knights <laughs> of Crow's Gate are very different to the real Hell Knights. See, um, once, uh, once Crow's Gate, after the death of Amer the Crow, right. uh, the Hell Knights moved up to Fort Inevitable, and Crow's Gate went back to its bold, corrupt ways. But they purportedly honored right. the, the so great Amer the Crow. Hell Knights. Right, and so they named their guardsmen the Hell Knights. But they're not really <laughs> Hell Knights. These are guardsmen from Crow's Gate. Sure. Well, as that police were trained to make nice with right? Mm. But I guess we won't tell them how to take their stuff. Most of pity. Most of pity indeed. Should we say hello then? Mm. Not much for us. Uh, peace talks, but I will never give you another. What, you don't think they'll appreciate a Yarbeer who's actually a bear and, uh, and, and a Norwegian? <laughs> I'm not certain that I think they will. <laughs> Let's see. Their looks should be priceless, however. And if they attack us, then we've got an excuse. He shifts back <laughs> into his... on the shoulder. <laughs> Delighted. He shifts back into his normal uh, form and starts walking forward. And he says, Well, then, you're the one with the fancy tongue in the big words. Why don't you do the talking? <clears throat> and as... Uh, fancy tongue. As you come uh, walking out, one of the guys says, no. Oh, oh, no! And he points to you, and both of them stand up, and one of them puts a hand on his halberd in the cart. And he says, you stay back now, without wanting no trouble. Gross. Gross. Yeah. We've not dream of uh, expecting trouble from two of the famed hell knights. I can tell by the name of that's who you are. Right. That is right. Yes, you're not. Bandit simply thieving the armor. Stands up good straighter, man. and he says, no, that's right. We're hell knights of Crow's Gate on an important mission for the city. Well, uh, would you allow us to assist you then? We, we don't want to interfere with any uh, official important business. The sort of nods to the other guy, and the other guy puts a hand on the pommel of his sword and starts looking around in the bushes around you. You will find that we are alone. There are only the two of us, myself and my good friend here. There he says, quite heavily armed you are, well, yes, fellow simple travellers. It's a dangerous place. We saw dragons flying over here. Aye. Whole grats and helligrats are ranging, it looks like. You have names for these creatures? You oh, aye. Scream and run. <laughs> you shut up now! And one of them uh, plants an elbow <laughs> in a in what looks like a padded um, <laughs> sort of wrapping in the back of the cart, and you hear, <laughs> uh, Sorry, what is that? Well, it's a business we're on. Uh, you're transporting a complaining person? <laughs> <laughs> the other guy says, well, this person did something to uh, piss off someone higher up than the crow's gate. <laughs> uh, don't know who he crossed. Mm. Normally, it's only them that uh, win the lottery that gets sent out to meet Holgrax and Hellegrax, but it seems we're sending a tribute early this year. It seems like something of a waste of time if you're sending them that way when the dragons flew that way. Well, we will be there already, but for this wheel. Mm. Well, we could uh, see if we could assist you, and then you could be on your way. Well, what did this person do to deserve being fed to a dragon? Oh no! Could we ask him? I'm interested in what. No, we were told we've got to keep him gagged. I see. He's got dangerous words to say. A witch, most likely. Ah, uh, we, should, <laughs> we should probably burn. Shut up, you! <laughs> it seems we should probably just burn him now. Well, we've got to know and hold rats and allegrats won't get that feast on him. That's right. But they'll be coming back. Silly dragon and witch. I say to Emir. Uh, Emir uh, says, Oh no. This is the start for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the other fellow says, uh, You know, I don't know um, what they're doing down that way. It's not time for their usual ranging. Normally they wait till later, the beginning of the growing season. They can send only two of you on a mission to rid the dragons there. Well, we're not going to be fighting our dragons. We've got a gift for them. I see. 
Since you accept the gift, gift and allow you to leave? That's right. Seems only reasonable. I was led to believe that dragons were simply large uh, fire or otherwise breathing uh, monsters that would just cook. Oh, no, 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 not these. Them's the castle breakers. Holgrafts and allegrafts are known all round the region. Most of the smaller lords uh, pay tribute to them <laughs> once a year. They send them, uh, they send them various uh, gifts and things, uh, so that the the castle breakers don't come down upon their city. Uh, and he says, the other guy says, no, the crow's gate. We could get rid of them, no problem, if we really like. But they keep the others in line, so we pay the tribute as well. Hey Grant, you have a, a shout out from Prince Hat Pegs. Oh, dude, that's my coworker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? That's interesting. Uh, well, let us uh, assist you, and then perhaps we can see what is to be seen. Uh, I'm wondering what sort of place uh, a dragon might choose to take up residence in. Oh, yeah, you, you, you come along. Wait, what's your business in these parts? I was simply visiting an old friend who lives in these parts. Whereabouts? Uh, let me tell you the directions anyways. And, uh, which way is it? It's one of the yard here. Lives right down to the southwest near Lightery. Do I have a line of sight? To them? To anyone? Uh, you can kind of see the tops of their heads over the cart. Okay. All four of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you got some, uh... Some, some subtle stuff to do there. <laughs> <coughs> That's interesting. Um, yes, I'm uh, just you know visiting a friend. Um, we are the Nawin. We do not have so many friends, so <laughs> we tend to. <laughs> I said, shut up! You couldn't tell by the accent. Uh, so we tend to treasure those few that we have. <laughs> oh, who is this person? <laughs> this guy. Don't know. Bless you. But some of the higher ups gave him to us. Mm. Said he crossed the wrong person. Where he was to go. Mm. So no funny um, business, and you can help us with the way. I'm never funny. I'm never funny. <laughs> never funny. I'm never funny. I'm never funny. I genuinely will probably go and help. We're trying to make nice with these guys, and I don't care if they burn a witch. Aren't right. they taking the cart to the fort? Uh huh. So they're going to meet us. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be like, oh, friends who are Yarbeer who we're visiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were playing Yarbeer. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> you have some other actions. Alright, so, uh, yeah, roll me, uh, just, do you have woodworking or woodcarving tools? Or anything? Uh, I've got thieves tools <laughs> and dice. Roll me just a flat intelligence check. Okay. A 17? That's kind of cop. Oh, but, yeah, That's... we'll let you keep it. Alright, so, um, so yeah, you're 17. able to, to sort of, it, it's not going to hold, yeah. but you're able to get the wheel good enough that you think it could make it to the keep. Mm -hmm. Probably have to keep stopping every now and again to put the right. throw it back in place. It's not, uh, not and and this one, as you're close enough as you stand up, you get your first good glimpse of the fellow in the cart. Tell us what he looks like. Uh, so far, he, well, he's currently bound and gagged. Uh... He has um, a very clear crystal-like staff uh, uh, tucked away in the corner of the uh, the cart. Uh, yeah, they've got a whole like basically they've got a a leather wrapping around all of his equipment mm -hmm. that he has in there. Um, I c currently he is in uh, nice looking robes, a little tattered. Um, he has has an Washed him in a few days. Uh, <laughs> but that doesn't stop him from looking awesome. <laughs> right. uh, slicked, slicked back hair. Yeah. Like, I mean, as prim and proper as a two-day-old t-shirt could be. In in, uh, in turn, you see the, uh, the kind of russet colored hair. Is the door the open? The door. The door. How, does the cart. how does he get a glimpse of me? It's just I'm, a cart. Yeah, I'm looking over the top of the cart. Like a little wagon. Oh, you are? I mean, I, I probably saw you. Yeah, you see the... You can see him. Yeah, yeah, you see the distinctively uh, tattooed face oh, of a Norwegian. <laughs> I, I look in at you and go, and then lean back oh, down. Oh, oh, <laughs> and, I look, and then I go down. That's uh, exactly to, uh, what I'm doing. Working on as soon as I make eye contact with her, or with him, 
I just go. <laughs> just to make a Christmas save. Uh oh. Eighteen. Oh, oh no, nineteen. Oh man. I'm actually going to use two sorcery points to use a D4. You actually rolled a fifteen. So, oh wow. From a nineteen. Um, I we just wow, switched places. Nice. You're now bounding back, <laughs> and I am not. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the two guardsmen both free up and turn around and one goes, Oh, the hell he's loose! And grabs for his halberd. Roll for initiative. <laughs> you could probably make that mm. a lot easier than he could. Uh, uh, maybe my strength isn't higher than you. You can acrobatics out of it. Uh, oh, that's true. <laughs> but, but I'm left kind of going, hmm, for a little while. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my initiative was seven. Mm-hmm. Now you want to roll for Emer? Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Mine is oh, eighteen. Emer's gonna do, but what? Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, Emer probably isn't fond of a witch running around. All right. Just did a thing to um, the Narween that he. Tolerated. So, you got eighteen. Mm-hmm. You're up first. Sweet. Uh. <laughs> I I I love that wink. <laughs> I might have to just kill. We have an inspiration for that one. Sweet. Um. Next. As soon as as soon as I'm out. <laughs> I, I, I might just, be able to take him. I poof right where, uh, uh <laughs> what's your character's name again? Uh, Cyril. Cyril's, uh, area. I look to see at the guards and a giant Cyril. werebear right there. <laughs> well, he just looks like a guy right now. Oh, he just looks like a man? Uh, a big hairy guy. I <laughs> go, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Today's the day <laughs> you almost caught Judiferous. I snap my fingers and I'm what sort of name you <laughs> I snap my fingers and two extra copies of me cool. appear right. next to me. Alright. Um cool. Well at that the uh you what did he have? Uh he was just gonna tackle him. No, what was his initiative? Oh uh fourteen. Alright, he's next. Okay, well then he's gonna tackle him. Alright. Roll it out low, Yes. We'll roll uh, Yeah, how does that work with uh, I'm gonna say since it does say the grapple's a special kind of attack. Then he'll roll yeah. the thing. Okay. So he's gonna try to grapple something. On the first one Ooh. on an or on a six plus. Yeah, so it hits a mirror image. Uh that's a D six, right? No, a D twenty. D twenty. on a six plus it's a mirror image. Mirror image. No! Oh. I rolled a five! Tackles into the ground. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. roll the athletics check then. It's twenty. Yeah, roll roll yeah. athletics uh, check against the twenty three. <laughs> I don't think you can beat that. <laughs> All right. I rolled a nat three. All right, yeah. you're tackled to the ground. The mirror images both fall to the ground as well. The guards come running up. I am the Archbishop of... Get off me! <laughs> Each of them starts swinging it, one with a short sword, the other with a halberd. Um, the halberd is going to be a uh, 21 to hit. Uh, hits an image. All right, so one of the images disappears. The short sword is a 15. <laughs> Hits an image. Nice. All right. So there's just one image. Got one image left. Yep. It's eleven up for mm-hmm. that one. Yeah. So then is the right. other guy doing so? That was both. Of them. Oh, that was both. Of them. Yeah. Halberd and torch sword. So it's your turn. What are you doing? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. I I, I forgot. I, what did you get? I got a seven total, and I got a twenty uh, on acrobatics to wriggle out of the uh, out of the bonds. All right. Yeah. Pretty quickly, you're out of the bonds, and you still got the uh, you still got the gag. You use my object interaction to rip the All gag right. off my mouth and go. I think I am going to bone you. <laughs> uh, I stride forward towards you. Then now we're back at you. <laughs> Being grappled by this giant mm-hmm. man. <laughs> Being grappled by this giant man, I go, <laughs> That's it? And I wink at him again, casting oh. Flynn's fantastic fudge. We <laughs> <laughs> get who? At, at the gun. giant guy who's on top of me. Okay. So you cast, so, it, so you cast you see, it on yourself. On myself. Right. Yeah, you see, like, my veins are starting to just glow blue. That's fun. All right. <laughs> All right. That makes it humor. So he's just going to continue holding him there. Okay. So Punch it, him in the face. I don't think, I mean. So he's just holding him? He's yeah. Got, yeah, so humor's well, holding him down. No. And humor's holding you down. And he says, and what's that supposed to do? <laughs> What should I do with him? And he turns back to the, the two guards. And one, are attacking him? Uh, one of the guards oh, says, Try not to kill him. Hogwarts and Hogwarts prefer live targets. And he takes the butt of the halberd and tries to slam it into you. Uh, and that's going to be 15 to hit. Hit. Does it hit an image or you? Oh. You know, 11 up to hit an image. Uh, it hits up. me. All right. I'm choosing for Boom. it to hit me. It hit. It, oh, well, I don't, you don't actually have that. Oh, well, it hits an image. All right, so it destroys the last image. The one with the short sword swings it into you, but uh, at the last second, it, it does miss. 
Oh, you're about to. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, 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 let me, let me yeah, tell you. Yeah. Uh, so the first one, oh, maybe not a 13 to hit? Nope. Okay. Uh, so the first strike just swings wide. Um, uh, and then, do I know the, the command word for the uh, for the weapon that I'm holding? Not yet. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I, I want to identify that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You do. Uh, I'm going to, uh, as I miss the first time, I go, ah, and then I speak the command word, and in front of your eyes, the blade bl- uh, bursts into flame. Uh, and then I'm going to swing at disadvantage. Um, to the, uh, the command word is the old speech word, Yoden. E-O-D-H-A-N, Yoden. As soon as it lights up on fire, I go, huh, kind of like your homeland. Oh! 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to take disadvantage on the attack roll and swing at him twice uh, right. using the uh, scimitar strike pattern. Miss the first? He, he's. Oh, he, oh, oh, oh I rolled. Rolled. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, I, just rolled. Yeah. I rolled once. I got him. Oh, but he's, is he prone? I thought he could tackle. Tackle him down. Yeah. Yeah. And then the second one? I got him twice. Uh, so, well, you got oh, him once. Right. I got him once. Let's see. And so that's going to be, it's a d6, and then two uh, extra d6. Uh, five, six, eleven damage. Okay. Poof. And uh, then what I happens? I poof three feet away. <laughs> right. So, is it only three? I, I roll 2d4. Yeah, and, and roll then a random direction. Yeah. A random uh, direction. Uh, so I spin around and see that you're now over there, <laughs> and I've run over. And and he's like dusting himself <laughs> off. Run over and attack you again. Uh, no, 13. <laughs> Right, as you slash, she sort of hops back, and that puts us at. And I, I'm gonna now that I'm up on you though, and I did hit you, I'm gonna mark you. All right. You're gonna be sad that I did. That you, yeah, you didn't. That I did that to you. Oh. But that's your that's your turn now. Oh, I'm trying to get all my things in order. Because <laughs> every five feet you move, um, you reach, I get to make an opportunity. But teleport still provoke. Oh, okay, but it okay. I thought for the fire mark, it still did. No, teleports okay. never do. Hey, Cyril, mm-hmm. make a wisdom check. Wisdom save? Yep. Can do. Not Ooh, really. Not so uh, ten. Uh, you get poofed into a sheet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh just body mark me? As, as you come towards me, I go, oh, okay. Oh, it's the second time I've tried to hide in a sheet today. <laughs> <laughs> and Eber's just laughing at this one. <laughs> I don't like this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop Ymir, uh and say, I have no quarrel with you, large man. <laughs> large man. Well, I, I, as much as I like your friend, these fellows that were trying to make friends with their city. Um, I'm going to go back to the cart um, and grab my staff. Okay. Um, that puts us at Eomer. Um, So Eomer is still wanting to, They did say yeah. don't kill him. But yeah, he's, he's gonna continue him. trying to hold this dude yeah. down. Um, that's not great, but it's uh, 11 athletics check. Oh, he's probably proficient, right? Oh, we don't know his. Never mind. Good God. 11 might do it. I got a five. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> he's a bear. And he's got like a big goofy like, <laughs> no, right. So uh, yeah, he wraps his huge bear arms around um, around hey, hey, He's going to drop prone again. Alright, and drop prone tackles him. Oh, the uh, the one with the halberd comes up, and so does the one with the short sword. Both are gonna hit. Uh-huh. So only one of them hits. I'm gonna make only one of them hit. I'm gonna use my staff as I get. Well, tackled. don't you teleport away again? Yeah, uh-huh. I teleport away. So again. yeah, only one of them hits. <laughs> well, uh, is the fudge thing concentration? No. Actually, no, it's no, not. It's not, it's it's not right? concentration. Cause, it's because then it would touch. just end yeah. when you got hit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm only two feet away. All right, so then in that case, as you teleport two feet away, the other guy does come up and slashes him, so both hit. Okay, well, I'm going to teleport away. <laughs> the halberd deals 11 piercing damage, and the, uh, or slashing damage, and then the, uh, the short sword does five piercing. Okay. Would you just stay still? Actually, can I shield that second? Hit? Yeah, I'm gonna shield the second shit. <laughs> I'm gonna shield the Sorry. second hit. Boom. And like, as soon as I teleport after the first one, and he comes at my back, I'm just gonna tap my staff and just boom, up I, against the shield. If I may. Yeah. Um. So as you tap the staff, um, this like magical barrier in the shape of a smiling uh, drama mask appears, yeah. uh, and the the sword 
cracks against it and bounces back. And it sort of blows him back with the force. I suggest you stop now before I obliterate everyone. Uh, roll an intimidation check. Okay. Oh, wow. I actually have a pretty good intimidation. Because <laughs> you got a really good charisma. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm not even rolling it. Post. I don't care what he says. Nine, uh, actually, 23. All right. Um, the two guards say, Right, right, all right. All right. Look, we had nothing to do with this. We're just following orders. Oh, I know. Carry on. You're not going to obliterate us or nothing? No, I just might turn you into a frog. Well, please don't turn us into anything <laughs> unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the, the other one says, let's go, let's go. And he grabs him and they both go running back towards the crow's gate. Eomer says, bunch of pansy cowards. They kind of are, aren't they? That was pretty easy to get rid of them. <sighs> well, I guess I'm on your side now. I guess so. <laughs> and I uh, guess my you're... friend here is a sheep. Could you... <laughs> Oh, yeah. I bend his ear a little bit closer. I say, not so much a sheep as just the worst thing of this world. <gasps> Mutton's actually quite good. <laughs> <laughs> we should. We should have mutton right now. No, I think you're confused. This sheep is my friend. Prove it. Hey! And he slaps <laughs> her and uh, the sheep rears up under its back legs. Right? Um, it'll probably hit a sheep. Yeah, it'll hit a sheep. Yeah, it'll it'll sheep. Um, so what is that? Uh, it's four bludgeoning damage. The, sh- the sheep rears up onto its back legs and then plumps down onto its back. Only as it hits the ground, instead it's an elf. <clears throat> <laughs> um, as he polymorphs back, I'm going to put my staff up against his Adam's apple. Alright. And say and bend in closer and say, uh <clears throat> As you bend closer, what my sword flashes up and rests right here against one of your eyes. Let's see how fast you can move when you can't see. Oh, oh, yeah. I am going Be to Be careful with what you do now, Rich. I'm gonna go ahead and make a wisdom save. Why can't you use it? Because he's a jerk. I'm not good. I'm a jerk. <laughs> yeah. You are being. You you, you opened with oh burning just like your homeland. <laughs> <laughs> that that's yeah. That's, that's, that's how you really, It's really awful. Um. Uh. What'd you get? Uh. Not not good. Failed. Not enough. So uh, as I dig the staff in a little deeper in your Adam's apple, I'm gonna create the image of the mystical flender in, and I'm using major image in front of me, and I say, uh, might not have been the best. I remember you and your puny people. You never met me, Flindon, but I know who you are. The blood oh. of my people cries out for you, and your death was not enough. Oh, you remember me? Hmm. Was it before or after I burned you? I never met you, country? Flindon. Nor your pitiful worm that stands behind you. Did you get Bruce laughs exactly like that? Yeah, just going. A coward in life you were on burned my family alive. I was not on the island. Mm, but a heretic family that you belong to. A lone criminal is all that carries your name. You are a pathetic waste of magic, just as you are flesh in life. I have nothing more to say of you, to you, or the one who bears your image. Piss uh, off. Flindon <laughs> <laughs> whips, whips his staff around, points it right into the face, and I'm going to fireball. Uh, my staff is still right there. I'm gonna stab him in the eye, or my sword is still right there. I'm gonna stab him All in right. the eyeball. Roll attack roll. <laughs> I think you have disadvantage on a ranged attack. For this. You definitely do. I know. <laughs> uh, 15 and 20. I'm gonna shield both of those. Uh, 20 is still shielded? No, 19. <laughs> but I am gonna flint it for a supply drive. Right oh, Sam, uh, he crit on you. Oh, of course! <laughs> That's the so, Tyler. So sad. <laughs> Tyler made uh, pull out that lingering injury shirt. Oh, <laughs> Ten. boy. 24, 27 damage. Down. Yeah, oh, you're 20. down and also. Rolled you 100. But I also, I also <laughs> teleported five feet away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Roll that D100. Roll a D100. Oh, sorry. Because you get a lingering injury because I crit you in the face. 90. Oh, that's a wow. That's I missed the eye. Pretty great. So as he teleported oh. away, 
Oh, but he has a horrible scar. Yeah, oh, as, as you teleported away, as him. you teleported away, uh, you, oh, wait, like, there was a on my money maker. Yep. There was a moment. Yeah. Oh, like, right wait, as you so were much. dragged away oh. by this horse that slashed all right here. So now you have a scar going from the corner of your eye to your ear, um, just in a straight line, and it's nasty looking. It's burnt as as, as well. you tell like away, Ira steps between you and he says, All right, all right, let's cut this out as he falls to the ground. I tried to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that fellow was that you just made the big thing of. And I don't he's, know he's I'm currently unconscious. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, well, then, uh, then Eomer says, I don't know who that fellow was, but that's not him. Look, whoever this is, he did something that pissed off the people in the Crow's Gate. Perhaps if we brought him back alive, or even finished the we mission for these people. Him to death. I don't care what they do with him, but they might appreciate it. Fine. I'm sure there's a bounty of some kind on his head now that those two have gone running back. The one that he saw was Flindolin, some sort of charlatan magician. He was largely unknown until the point that he landed upon the shores of Nowen, and together with the Necklaker and all Gearworld's Bane, burned the island and most of its inhabitants. I thought it was the Neckbreaker that burned the island. I've never heard of anybody else that travelled with him. <laughs> he must have been a nobody. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> so I really world, wish I wasn't unconscious. It is perhaps ironic that those who remember him are the ones who hate him the most. He was nothing. This, that is his staff. This he must have been one of his, I believe they called him disciples. Whatever he is, I'm sure he's worth quite a lot to us. Blindfold him after we gag him and bind him. I right. should not be able to do anything. He does uh, all those things, following your instructions, and loads them into the cart, and says, Well, let's see what our friends are up to. <laughs> Meanwhile... I got to use two custom spells! <laughs> ah. So mechanically, you have disadvantage in persuasion checks and advantage on intimidation. <laughs> oh, really? Scar. Oh, and now on? Scar. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so you no! Deal. Deception's my yeah. best! No, no, deception doesn't have an issue. Deception doesn't change. Persuasion. persuasion. Oh, well, yep. I'm fine. Alright, mm. so... Uh, Meanwhile, back at the tower, as you head up into the uh, into the trebuchet tower, you see that there's actually a a, a weapon rack here on the tower, hmm. and hanging on the weapon rack is a hammer. Oh, oh I thought it was gonna be a hand axe. No, <laughs> it's a war hammer. Oh, cool. Oh, is it fancy? Oh, I think it's supposed to be a mall. It's oh. a mall. Oh, Ooh. a two-handed hammer. I pick it up. I'm kidding. You're not there. I know. She's, hey, what do you want to do with it? We're going to do that big, big mall thing. I'm going to pick up the hammer. It hums with magical energy. Oh. 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 Hand it to someone who can use it. Maybe you. you. Yeah, as right. I'm the person. That All right. Yeah. As you hand it to him, you can feel that this, this thing is humming As with I energy. do it, though, I like Terrific. hand it over to you, I pick it up, and I go. <laughs> now we'll take it. Do I? Mm, yeah, you feel the hump? Right. Do, do, do I? Do I? Do I? Oh, I, I will. Anyhow, bitch. I will. Um, you know, well, kind yeah, of, you, you didn't kind need of to. point it in, in the direction of our local items expert. The, uh, so you guys are up on a tower. Yeah, uh, um, they're in the tower. Yeah, I'm not in the tower. But she brought it out to him. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I don't think you were up there. I, I was not. Yeah. yeah. Good boy. Uh, as you do that, Corin is watching you, and he's been watching the skies this whole time. And he looks over and he says, Are you sure we want to uh, waste the wizard's magic on that when we could be assailed by dragons at any moment? Isn't it a ritual? Isn't it a ritual? It is. <laughs> he didn't I, know that. I can't say that. I'll say that in character. Isn't it a ritual? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you do that without expending a spell slot as long as you add 10 minutes to the spell slot? <laughs> a ritual would be a thing. Yeah, it's it's a ritual. Ritual. Yeah. Yeah. Magic is not so simple that you can just do it. But I will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Alright, that's your turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Because I am awesome. absolutely an inspiration. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, each of you guys can have an inspiration. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. four. Hey, uh, Kobe, can you give me a platinum? <laughs> Come on, give me. Oh, I love this one. Uh, can I get a oh, good. silver? Silver. I was really hoping it was Nemesis, and I was going to ask. Nemesis you to play is on a great one. member. Can I have a? Uh, <laughs> whatever three is. I don't know. Oh, yeah, gold. Gold. Sure. All right. Oh man. Don't bring my card. 
that's super cool. There's a grammatical error on it, but it's super cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, as you identify, oh, it's that, a plus uh, one mall. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. It's a plus one mall. Yeah, it's I'll start good. using that. That's fine. All right. It is a mall. So you do, it does require two minutes. Oh, sorry, All what does it do? How long does it take to think? Ten minutes. Well, let's get it. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I, have the, I have the axe, but it doesn't... Wait, what, what is this mall? Do you it's a plus one mall. Oh, okay. It just requires a ten minute special. You are feeling that you cannot get the full effect out of this mall without understanding it. But I have done all that I can to understand it. What more could be hidden? That I, mean, I would not be able to tell you. You wouldn't get the plus one if you had to. That's what I'm saying. Is you yeah, know, Most plus one two. weapons are. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But this one is. Yeah. I would not stop you, but... Uh, this is the, the herring mall. It's very <laughs> red, and uh, there's nothing <laughs> special about it that needs attunement. It has the name Radon. Yeah, it was written, written <laughs> by that creepy, open-eyes druid <laughs> that freaks Sam out so bad. Hmm. As I say, I will not stop you, but uh, I have my suspicions. Maybe I don't want to <laughs> <You're> sure? <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? That's a DM saying, are you sure? That's 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 a little, little more weighted than mine. From, <laughs> from a person who has blindly attuned to that's a great true. sword that was in a tree once. <laughs> that's true. I, think I, I, will <laughs> tell you, though, I will tell you that this one, out of character, out of game, uh, this one was contributed by one of our Patreons. Oh, well, then oh, absolutely all attuned. Yeah, right. For sure. You're attuned to that, so it's a plus one mall. However... Of However, course, of you course. now can't use any other weapon but this one. Like, <laughs> until someone casts Remove Curse to break the attunement on you. Oh, okay. That's, not too bad. That's the only That's announcement. Bad. All right. That's, That's all right. Who, do you have a good character? Yes, that was thanks to Tyler Price, who is hey. one of our uh, patrons on Facebook. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks to the mall, Tyler. <laughs> Even though you make me crit me all the time. time. Mall is 2d6. 2d6. Yeah. Oh and it's goodness. heavy and two-handed. Two that's fine. I've if, been using the heavy two handed weapon the whole time. Yeah. This one does not have reach. Like if the that's true. One of our viewers wants to do the same thing that Tyler just did. You should check out our Patreon and see what kind of loot you can donate. Almost every pledge level on Patreon, uh, Patreon gives you the opportunity to include a treasure chest somewhere in an adventure. All you gotta do is let me know. All right, cool. All right. We've got it. Um, um, and. Uh, What's that? Is it eight twenty? Oh, is it? I haven't been watching the time. time. So I just call that or yeah. Check out our. Uh, we'll be back. Hey. Patreon. Guys. See you in a bit.